What happened? There better not be a feedback. Okay. Damn it, there's going to be a feedback. Because I'm not on YouTube. Oh, there it is. Are we good, Keegan? I'm loading up right now. I think they are, though. It popped up on my screen. Oh, okay. Whoa. Somewhere in the studios of Texas, it's the Beanfield and Duck Man Show, or the Duck and Bean Show. <sighs> hey, guys. Uh, I hope we're live. Yep, we're live. KB's bleeding. Don't know why. Maybe the spider bit him. But anyways, we're live. Yay! Yay, we're live. So tonight's guest is uh, Green Frog. And, uh... Hey, KB, you want to hear a joke? Oh, there's Green Frog. Ah, uh, you didn't hear a joke. You want to hear a joke, Green Frog? From oh, yeah. Beanfield? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh... What makes worse more than uh, sewing machines? You. Uh, you said so, so many times last night. Last time. Ah, shut up. <laughs> Beefield don't good do jokes. <laughs> He's still got his pill. Okay, so Keegan, how are yep. you doing tonight? I'm well. How about you, gentlemen? Mm, okay. Uh, pretty good. Um. Oh. That was the first question. Do we call you? What is your name, Keegan or Keegan? How do you exp, uh, how do you pronounce it? Oh, let me zoom whatever, in. Whatever, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. Whatever you've heard sounds Keegan. good to me. Keegan. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll call you Keegan. Sounds good. Okay. So Keegan, um, yep. how how did you find your YouTube channel or get your YouTube channel? What? How did you? Get Green Frog or your name? Oh, how, oh, how did I come up with Green Frog? Yeah, is my name. Uh, well, I have a pond that has frogs in it, and I, I guess they're green frogs from my area. So and then RC is just re remote control cars. So ah, so that was a green frog in your pond. And you named it Green yep. Frog. KB had a dog named Fish. She swam in a. Uh, pond one time smelled like a fish that we named her fish <laughs> so you we you have lots of rcs or uh, name some of the rcs you got some of the crawlers or bashers or first let's not get off this fish question first how do you know oh, okay. it was a, a female yeah it was a female dog her name was fish yeah okay <laughs> she looked just like benji that's what he told ah. me I wasn't okay. around. I thought, then, I thought it was but... a fish named Fish, and Fish went swimming, and it smelled like a fish. No, it was my do or KB's dog. Okay. Yeah, she looked just like Benji. I wasn't around that time, but he told me she about ever, it one night. Did she ever come and get you to save any kids from wells or anything, Lassie? No. She used to bring his sock, his uh, shoes to him, though. He was a cute. Oh good wow! Dog. Yeah, not even chewed he was up. A good dog. No, not even chewed up. Nice. She used to jump on the, um, get so excited, jump on the table and pee on the table when I come home. <laughs> when when uh, KB came home, he said. <laughs> she was a good dog, though. So I hear. So back to you. This is your interview. <clears throat> mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, so your cars? Do you, do you have a? Someone said you're a hoarder. You have lots of cars. I have some cars. Mm -hmm. I see cars. Crawlers. Oh, cars. Lots yep, of crawlers. I have some crawlers. Sure. What kind of crawlers do you have? Remote control crawlers. Remote control crawl like ten yep. twos and and. Yep. Okay. Uh. What else do you have? Bashers? What kind of bashers do you have? I have bashers. What kind? A few different kinds. A few different, like X-Max and stuff? 
Yep, I have an X Max. You have an X Max. Do you don't you mm -hmm. don't do too much on your on your YouTube channel though? I don't see. Nope. No. Nope. I I don't Just really uh. Working. I haven't been putting up much content or anything. Yeah, I'm mostly working and getting older, napping through the napping time I could. Yeah, napping through the time I could be doing more with my channel. I suppose. Yeah. Um, so we noticed you have a very nice beard there. What what kind of products do you use on your beard to keep it shiny and glowy like that? Pantene Pro-V, mostly. Pantene Pro-V. Mm -hmm. We know you had a long beard before. Are you going to let it grow out again for the, you know? Occasionally a cream of some young guy. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Quack, quack, quack. You hear is like nice and shiny too. You use that same? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Pro V, yep. Pinty yes. Pro V, yep. Yes. Yeah, I don't have any hair, so, you know, I have feathers. Right. So, um, since we didn't get any questions out of you for your RC cars, quack, we need some, uh, you know, yeah, I have red, uh, you know, I have this and that. But yeah, what about action figures? What kind of action figures do you have? See, I am an action figure, so sure. I need to know that. Um, He-Man, Star Wars, Marvel, DC. If it's a cool action figure, I'm, I'm in. Mostly uh, seven inch or six inch. Evan, see, I, I don't know what size I am. You know, I forgot to measure. I don't have to measure me. But um, do you have any sexy girls that will go out with me that you can, you know, male? On your way? Baby? Yes, and my way once in a while. Or being female? Just, just female I don't need girls. Mostly. I just listen to ACDC. I don't need any girls. <laughs> being female, I, mean, I don't need any girls. <laughs> I don't have any, any duck. Duck females. I swing both ways. I, I swing <laughs> both ways. I have, you know, I'm, I like girls. I did hear Dirk asking you which half is which half. Yes, yes. <laughs> Where the cutoff line was. Yeah, the cutoff line the, is the below the marks. Swung. Yes. <laughs> below the swung. You only have uh, female action wrestlers, so I yeah. don't want to go out with a, a wrestler. <laughs> You know, too rough. I have short yeah. hands. So I can't slap them around. Yeah, be gentle. Yes. You gotta be gentle girls. You don't have any gentle female girls. <laughs> I'll have to ask around, see what we can find. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh. Duck ring, duck ring, duck ring. Oh, 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 wait a minute, Keegan. I have to get this, but you can listen if you need to. Duck ring. Hello? Hello? Let me put it on speaker. Hey, this is Big Tex here. Yeah, Big Tex. Uh, this is Duck and Bean Investigations. How can I help you? This is Big Tex here. Yes, Big Tex. Hey, uh, have you uh, done any investigations with the Shadow? Uh, well, we're kind of working on it. We're like, oh, Big Tex, come back to the bedroom. Oh, just a minute, honey. Keep your panties on. Oh, my panties are already off, Big Tex. That's so funny, Big Tex. Uh -huh. We got you on speaker, you know. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> oh Big Tex hung up. <laughs> Must be busy. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny, huh, Keegan? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh... So you are are you an artist? Do you draw and stuff like that? KB said you did a little drawing once in a while. Yeah, I dabble. I don't dabble. consider myself really an artist, just um But everybody's dabbler. an artist, you know. You went right. to school for it though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. How many years? Studio in college? Design. Four years. How many years? Four years of college? Mm -hmm. And you're not an artist? What do you do? No. Some marijuana in them four years? <laughs> I don't know. Are you stoned right now, Keegan? I neither agree or disagree with that statement. Oh, okay. We won't <laughs> dabble into that. So, um... Pipes oh, just smoke so themselves. Smoke themselves, yes. Yeah. 
So, um, talking back to RCs, because this is an RC channel, supposedly, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you said you had a big pond in the back of your place. Is you know what? Uh, oh, yeah. Do you have any boats? Yeah, I have a RC boat. Traxxas Spartan. Hmm, is that Traxxas a like Spartan a speedboat or a tugboat? Yeah, oh, yeah, boat, speedboat, six right? S speedboat. Yep. Oh, six S! Wow, that's really fast. Yeah. Uh, do you do you use that a lot or no? No, never used it. No, I see that blurred vision back there. That's what. What is that? Your truck? It's, yeah, it's a BRX L one. Bo from Boom uh, Racing. B B O X R one. B R X O one. B R X B R X R one. B R X O O one. Yeah. B R X O one. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm yep. bad with uh, numbers. That's okay. Letters. Understandable. <laughs> He's a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> shut yeah, up and listen to ACDC. You just shut up and listen to ACDC. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> so, uh, is that a kit you've been working on for a little while then? Yeah, a couple years now. The the, oh. the chassis went together quick, like in a month. But the the body, I just it's like a model kit, and I just haven't uh, gotten just down to little... cutting it all out of the sprues and putting it all together. Is what is it a Toyota? Yeah, Toyota LC seventy. Yeah, pickup truck. Yeah, I can just barely see the uh, you know, unview your thing so I can see it. Oh, that's all I, you can see. I got to put my glasses on. I don't have glasses. No, you're blurry. You're blurry back there. Oh, there. It, oh, look at the action figures. Look at them. Man, oh, there's the truck. Yeah, you've got a lot of action figures. Oh, yeah. I'd go in there and just control them all, <laughs> rule them all. Yep, with an Armor iron ruler. fist. Yes, get to work for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's a nice truck, though. Uh, will it fit a full action figure, or you know, you have to do some oh, yeah. chopping on them? It will. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Oh yeah, there, there's the transmission, and you can see the motor and transmission. It's got a motor and trans. Oh yeah, is that a brushless motor? Yep. Ah, you went all out. It doesn't come with the motor though, right? It doesn't come no. with the electronics. No. Uh, it comes with a shifting servo. Oh, it's a, little, a little micro servo. Yep. Ah. Have you run them before, or is this the first one you've got built building? Yeah, it's the first uh, boom racing truck I've had. Yeah, it looks like it's coming together nice. Two years is a long. Did you said two years? How many years? Yeah, I'll be, I built the bed of it in a night, and then the rest of it I just haven't touched. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you need to touch it again. It's feeling lonely. That's what she said. Yes, she says it's feeling lonely. What? You gotta Ignore touch it. it for too long. Some point in life, my I'll secretary is not doing a good job. The good thing is, I haven't spent much on RCs, just little odds and ends to yeah. finish it off the way I wanted to finish it off. Like Brad, you know, you have your dream way to build an RC. Yeah, you got a dream, just your RC subtle. dream. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, so, uh, Keegan, uh, I heard you were an electrician. Do you have any? weird stories about that did you get you know any electricity through your body at any time or anything i've been shocked occasionally but shocked. i try not to yeah i try not to get shocked yeah turn turn stuff off whenever i possibly can and no i wear rubberized gloves too no more hair raising adventures ha <laughs> ha you know when you get no. shocked your hair raises <laughs> i made right. a joke i finally made a joke nope no not anymore. Um, try not to anymore no. Uh what about um Tommy Gunn? I heard you had a Tommy Gunn adventure story. Got him there? Does he have a I see. Ah, there's Tommy Gunn, yeah. I remember he might, we went You might recognize oh, him. Yeah, no, that's, better a better from that angle. that's a better view, yeah. I remember that's a better view now. No, I don't <laughs> swing that way. I only want action girls. That's right. No, I don't. 
my secretary said I swing both ways, but I don't. I only swing one way. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Is that what I said? We'll have to rewind. <laughs> you know, these lives. Oh, God. I'm in so much read. trouble now. <laughs> Shh, don't say that word. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Um, you got it. Oh, I asked you about the action figures. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, yes, maybe you can send KB uh, uh, one of them Tommy gun trucks. You okay. say you had a where? Well, let's see that one again. I don't have a Tommy gun truck. I haven't bought one yet. Oh, I thought you. Oh, you just took a picture of it. Yep, I just took a picture. Dollar yeah, General. We don't, we don't have any of them. Or uh, Dollar Tree. Yeah. Can do. I'm working on. Beanfield's working on a four wheeler, or KB's working on a four wheel for us. So. Nice. Got to do some work. Okay, so that was. Oh yes, do you? Uh, are you married? Have any kids or anything like that, or single, or do you don't get knifed, or you're single, so you don't have to worry about the knife. No, not no knife thing. No. No knife. You know, got to get the knife. The girls say knife. What? Free to waste my money any way I want. Yeah, you don't have any <laughs> kids you don't know about, right? I'm that I'll admit to. None of that have been DNA tested to be proven that they're mine. <laughs> we'll have to bring you on the Jerry Springer show. Oh, right. There is no on Jerry Springer show. That's how old I am. So uh, that's. Uh, I used to enjoy that show immensely on the daily. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Proof that you shouldn't pay for a hooker with a personal check. <laughs> only cash, I heard. Uh, only cash. Mm -hmm. Go yeah, to the bank changed. and cash your check first, and then you can pay for the hooker. <laughs> if, you, if you're with one of those highfalutin cash hookers, I like to change ones. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they say, you know, got you by the balls. Ain't that a good song being sealed? Yeah, I like that song from ACDC. Got you by the ball. You got to break, break out the cash. Hey, Mr. Businessman, head of the society. <laughs> that's that song. Got you by the balls from ACDC. Yeah, you never heard that? Yeah, that's on the Razor's Eds. Razor's I'd probably, Eds song. probably recognize it if I heard it, but I yeah. don't know by, by heart. That's for sure, like Beanfield. Got you, shorty. Got you by the balls, he says. Yeah. Okay, Keegan, it's been about, uh, oh, crap, where's the paperwork? Here it is. I almost forgot to draw the next name. Uh -oh. The next victim for the Duckman show. <laughs> for, next, for next week? Yeah. And then the following week? And yeah, the following, following week. week. Yeah. It's not, it's every, uh, month? It's every, every month. Okay. Okay, what does this one say? Green Frog! Oh, I guess we're going to interview you forever. You're up again. What? Right. Dumb KB, you didn't put it back. Put it back in the case, the right... Ah, oh, jeez, KB. Oh, this is Hand, by the way. He comes around once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, we're mixing up. Okay, and here's the next one right here. Contact. I got a piece of E6000 in there. The stuff goes all over the place. Nathan. Oh, Nathan. Nathan. Nathan's the next one. Yay! Nice. He has a pretty cool crawler he made out of a Tamaya. Yes, I see. If that. you can believe that. Right? Tamaya. Well, Tank has a cool crawler. Crawlers from Tamaya. He's a small tire truck, he said. True. So, Keegan, that was very interesting uh, interview. And, uh, Appreciate uh, you taking it easy on me. Yes. Uh, what'd you say? I'm not ruling over me. Oh, the secretary's leaving the building. He's oh. rolling out the building. Have a good night. So, uh, you want to put us on live? That's your main job.
Okay. After me... you get interviewed by Duck Man. <laughs> Let me uh do that. Okay. You keep up the show. Keep up the show. He's oh he's already left too. I don't know how to keep the show up. It's gonna go to KB here in a minute. La, da, 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 da. I can't finish the rest of that song. What? Let's see if we're live yet. Oh, I heard a ding. Is there no one coming in here? Are you still there, Keegan? Huh. Oh, yeah, I'm here. I just uh, oh. boarded to WhatsApp, and I'm going to try to get it to... Thanks. Oh, there's you know, John Martin. There's John Martin. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, John. Hey, Kurt. Okay, KB, you're uh, you're on the air now. Oh God, Duck Man, you gotta relax a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, work on the work on this four wheeler. Just get an email out? No, just a WhatsApp? Yeah, just a WhatsApp. You want to throw some out? I found some legs. Let me put this down here. Then some legs. Wrestler legs. Girl wrestler legs. Oh. <clears throat> You're better off having those guys send it because I don't know how. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to send it to all the. He's going to, uh, Kurt's going to send it. Oh, those are decent pants from the dollar store. Oh, crap. Tracy? What were you up to today, John? You doing some racing? Kurt, you doing some speed runs or anything fun? Uh, yeah. When's your race season start? In laws over. Ah. Uh, yeah, they came with a like a suit too, Keegan. Decent. And like a suit. Are they filled with cotton or something? I put uh paper towels in there right now to just to try to get the Perform. bend right the other night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I found these. Legs. A little shorter. Yeah, they're still shorter than the. They're shorter than the. Uh, yeah, I'll have Can to cut some off. Well, I'll cut some. I'll cut some off. And uh, I think the legs are longer than the four wheeler. Anyways, to sit in, you don't have to sit way back here. With good, you know, E6000 glue, it'll fix, it can fix anything. Probably a seven, seven inch scale figure and six right. inch four wheeler or something. I already took a, I already took a bottle, uh, a, this ain't the bottle cap. Yeah, this is the bottle cap and I cut it off and glued it in here. So nice. it'll be, it'll go, I mean, Beanfield fits right in there. Got a little pot belly, but you know. 
Dwayne, it's the same. I haven't even touched it. I did send an email to see if what they thought, and I haven't heard back from them yet. The three D printer. Yeah. Can you, I don't know if you can really call it a 3D printer anymore. Parts no. that <laughs> parts could could potentially be a 3D printer. <laughs> oh, really? They haven't they haven't sent you anything back? No, I never haven't heard from them. So we will just call it a used to be printer. That yeah. sucks, man. We just call it a printer. No 3D I'm not known as a printer. Man was getting a little weird tonight. Extra weird tonight. <laughs> yeah. I bring that out, people. <laughs> yes. Oh. That was good. Well, it's, it's kind of like I said. Uh, that was Keegan's we fault. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I said, when you were talking about starting doing this in the beginning. Are we going to get a one pill Keith or are we going to get a three pill Keith? Yeah. yeah. We're definitely getting three pill Keys. <laughs> <laughs> and a four pill duck, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, JD's? Oh, fuck. JD, what's going little on? Big. Bushman. Dwayne's in the house. Welcoming, hey. guys. Not going to work, Keith. Uh, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to do some trimming on her leg. I'll probably cut this much off so it'll s sit where I need to sit. You probably cut a section right out of the thigh or out of both sections say, or something yeah. and glue back together. I probably have to take it off off her leg. What's up, Bushman? Yeah, I'll have to take some off the bottom of her leg and then scoot it up. I knew they were going to be a little long. But the knife will fix it all. And if he has to hitchhike, he can pull up his pant leg and get a ride without a problem. <laughs> 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 this is a driver bean field, though. Yes, no, they're still going over there, too. Oh, no. Let me see. Let me get some tools here. Hey, What's going on? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Whoa. Oh. I didn't get no notification from YouTube that you were on. Oh, I don't know. Did anybody I, else? Um, I yes, I did. Yep. Yeah, I got the notification that it was on a uh, I forgot all about the interview Higgins tonight. Yeah, so was I. I'm like, yeah, he didn't send out an, e an invite for everybody. And I'm like, and I realized, oh, shit, he's probably interviewing somebody. Yeah. Well, as soon as I, I clicked on it, I'm like, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> all I see is much. the uh, duck man in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to make a studio to have so we could have two action figures talking back to each other, but I was too lazy throughout the week. Uh, <laughs> are you week. kidding me? That ripped that easy? Wow. The pants. Oh no the 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 boots. Uh, I they gave uh, you boots with the with the with the thing too, but it's got like a slice in it. But I think I'm gonna put her boots on there, and that'll probably work. Cut it down enough. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Hopefully, her feet off. It'll set her feet off too. Be white boots. Set his feet off. You know. Yeah. I'm gonna trim a little bit off here. Move off the clip. Oh man! Stop oh. that! Yeah, it's too early already. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be I'll be getting out of here early tonight because I got a three hour drive in the morning. I'll put three hour drive. 
try and be up and going by quarter to six. I ain't getting up early. Me neither. No, I said that is not getting up early. Oh, right. quarter to yeah, six. Yeah, just you, <laughs> Some of us don't have to get up at three o'clock in the morning to wait until five o'clock to be at work. Well, then don't say that's early. Then say that's the normal get up time. It's not my normal get up <laughs> on a Sunday time. <laughs> normal get up time. That's a normal get up time. No, I try to take advantage of the weekends and sleep in the past. Oh seven. man, I I got up at three o'clock like my normal time and went out the couch and. I didn't Crash. even make coffee. I, I sat on the couch and <laughs> woke up at, sleep. I don't know what time it was when I woke up when she finally woke me up. Problem is, I don't sleep at night, so okay. I'm up you at 2 o'clock in the morning watching videos. You got Should up, I give you guys out. a ding? Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. So Kurt gets up, walks out, sits on the couch, and falls back to sleep. That's <laughs> exactly what I did. <laughs> I think I watched about maybe a half hour of TV and out I was again, man. Finally catching up on sleep. Hey, you guys in chat better watch it, man. Nightbot's on it tonight. <laughs> yeah, I we're on my nightbot. We're on Keith. Times out everybody. I love my nightbot. You got JD, you got Dirk, you got Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it'll get me since I'm monetized. Let me see. Oh, that's right. I had to cut a hole uh, in this. Damn it. I tried it last time and it didn't. Totally forgot. I had to put a cut a hole in this for and put a piece of wood in there. Oh no, I'm special. I Bitch. can tear your, I can tear your shirt up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Revenge. I said I wasn't going to do this again with one of these fucking knives, but oh shit. Uh, JD, you'll find out when you get <sighs> to my age. You'll start okay. softening up. You should have band-aid on ready. Dennis is getting soft. I was already bleeding. <laughs> Tracy's like, look, you're bleeding. I'm like, oh. Can't stop the interview. <laughs> I've got time to bleed. I totally screwed up on uh, Big Tax, man. I have it all in my brain, and then it just whoop, goes away. Because <laughs> he was going to say, keep your panties on, and she's going to say, I already took them off, Big Tax. <laughs> you did say that. Oh, I did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess we got the three pill keys tonight. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why he hung up. Yeah. <laughs> but he sounds like a lot like Beanfield. What the hell is with these fucking bugs in my house, man? Tarantula, friggin' two scorpions. Those Crazy. aren't bugs. Those are silent assassins. <laughs> I'm keeping right. the tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> Fight off the scorpions. Yeah. <laughs> you could do battles. Probably get yeah, Sarge in trouble on YouTube. To, but... Sarge and Brad's like, Put them together, let them fight. I'm like, no, I'm not that mean. They can fight somewhere else. <laughs> fight in private. Yeah. It's like that one guy, I don't know his video, his YouTube channel, but he does, fro he has that big ass bulldog, bullfrog. He puts bugs in there, frog eats them. All of them big African frogs. Yeah. It's like, I know the frog's got to eat, but that's kind of, it's just mean. I did have an Oscar fish one time. He used to put all kinds of shit in there. He eat. All kinds of shit. Yeah, all kinds of bugs and Mormon oh. uh, fingers. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we never fed our Oscars bugs. We always fed them other goldfish. 
Yeah, so we did too. We did too. But no we just warm and finger. So. Yeah. We Go had ahead. a couple of those uh some gars, the garfish. Oh yeah. Got them when they were probably four or five inches long. By the time they were six months old, they were almost a foot and a half long. Would you catch them, Dennis? No, we got them from a pet store. Oh, okay. I've only seen teeth of gars, and they are badass. Man. I've seen them on TV shows. No, I've seen them real life out at the lake. Oh, you've seen gars on TV yeah. shows? Yeah. Swamp yeah. people. Yeah, our Oscar fish was, you know, I call them a piranha. So when the Mormon uh, guys would come over, I said, stick your finger in there. And you'd come up and I said, it's a piranha. He'd bite you. And he, oh. What's up, Brian? What? 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 Who? What? What's on first? Oh, no. Who's on first? What's on second? Who's on second? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's on third. <laughs> It's Brian Watt, not Brian's Watt. Oh. I'm going to be gone for about five minutes. <laughs> Keep this live snapping. Oh, Nightbot's got my back. You have to sit there and it's off now. Don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's it. See you guys. Oh. Later. we got five minutes to see if we can get Thanks his channel kicked off here. Later. Oh. He decided to share with him, Bushman. He said he caught a gar once and gave him and gave him my lure. Nice of you. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to try and reach over and, and get the lure out of its mouth, that's for sure. And what says one of his friends had a Pac-Man frog yet? Yeah, I've seen those Pac-Man frogs eating stuff on the internet. Bugs those like things are wild. All right. Yeah, there was a one channel that I used to watch this guy he had all kinds of exotic reptiles and he'd get two of those African frogs and they wouldn't fight, but he'd put like a mouse on one side and a scorpion on the other and see which one would t go for whatever. They didn't care what it was, man. They ate it. <laughs> they had no worries. Brian says everyone leaves, so when he gets back, he'd be like, where'd everybody go? <laughs> That'd be absolutely hilarious. We just all blacked out and dropped down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bushman says he appreciates his fingers. Yeah. Oh, we tried being brave with our gars and just holding a a decent sized goldfish by the tail. Oh no, <laughs> that didn't work. No, oh. JD says you're a fan of the Tiger King, there, Dennis. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the answer to that. I just figured I'd uh. <laughs> that dude's an idiot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. Him and Steve Irwin both. Mm -hmm. You mess with fire, you're going to get burned. Yeah. Just like that that guy that used to hang out in the the jungles with the gorillas. That was bound to happen. Oh, yeah. Just like all these guys and people who take in bear and any other strange lynx that happens to wander in the property that happens to be a baby. Yeah. Where there's a baby, there's a mother. <laughs> Not, well, some, sometimes a mother might be, uh, it might be abandoned or it might be in the road. Uh, I'm still... But you take a raccoon in or something like that. But nine yeah. times out of ten, the mother's usually around, keeping it a close eye on the baby. Yeah, oh yeah, normally. 
Oh, so no. Yeah, oh, for oh. me, me and my buddy took off <clears throat> once out of the woods in the Adirondacks because we come hiking around the corner and baby cup comes walking between us and we're like, where's mama? We're out of here. <laughs> we're not getting between. <clears throat> I had that close call one time. We're, we were deer hunting up in uh, the Alleghenies in PA. Mm -hmm. Sitting there, and we seen four cubs go walking past, probably about 50 yards away. We got up and walked another 100 yards. The other way. They're away from where we were sitting. It looks like a wolf spider or a tarantula. It's not a tarantula, I'll tell you that. Let's see probably that again. It's probably a wolf spider. Yeah, it's not a tarantula. No, it's a wolf spider. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's got the same markings on the back. I tell if you let it bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Beanfield will put his finger in there. Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> the bears hold their hand in there longer? Wow. <laughs> Brian, what said? Eat it, Keith. Eat it. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> eat it. Still gotta cut some more. Hey, did anybody send Eric the link? It's on. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, okay. It's on the WhatsApp. Plus, I send an email out to everybody that I send mine out on to. Thank you, Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. I knew Thank Mitchell's. You, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Kurt. Kurt, you got another video to watch tonight. Oh, you got. <laughs> you went out today? Yeah. I'm watching um, RCRX. He's trying to get everybody back into the Tamiya. TTO two hundred mile challenge again. Yeah, I was actually just talking to him on the phone. TTO two, huh? How are you? Yeah, he he hit me up on the our Larlo run. He wants one of them wings. Uh, I emailed him because he has his email on his thing, and mm. uh, I emailed him. We were talking earlier. I was like, man, it's just a three D printed piece of junk. It's a one and done kind of thing. You, crashes and it's gone. I'm like, it's nice for me because I can print them out, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, but if you want one. Damn it. I got to cut it small. <laughs> I guess you I cut it too yeah. big. I'll be back in another minute. Mm -hmm. It might last a couple <laughs> runs as long as you don't crash, right? Oh, it, yeah. I mean, it'll last as long as you, you know. Kurt, I made it up in so many sections that on a light crash, I found out from the first one. I made the first one I made on the first flip over was all one piece. And after I flipped it over, I'm like, you know, I really should have made the side fold on and all the different pieces pulled together instead of, you know, having to print out a 24 hour print just to replace it. So I yeah. made it up in sections. So there's sections that, you know, are fairly easily easily breakable, but you know the main parts of it aren't. You know, so like the fin, the side fins and stuff. Like if you broke one of them, I could just you know, you could just replace that. You know? Yeah. Kurt, sure, got a question for you. How wide is that a uh, racetrack? Do race at? About uh, yay wide. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably. I don't know. Got to be at least five, six RC cars wide, right? Oh, at least, yeah. So it looks like it's maybe an eight foot lane. Yeah, I was gonna say eight <laughs> to ten foot, probably. Yeah, I was gonna say. And they actually it, redid it, so now it's completely different. So they can change the, to what the hmm. lines that you race on now. They just spend a ton of money on it. What's up, Brandon? Welcome in, Brandon. Hello. All I got to say is the felony and 6S on a go-kart track was a handful. 
Oh, yeah. No, there's a handful on here, too. Some of those guys make it look easy, but it's just, trust me, it's not. <laughs> it's no easy. It's a lot of, a lot of power going around the turns. I thought the 4S, when we all started out, we were all doing, kind of doing 4S was pretty, pretty controllable. But when you get the 6S, man, you get a little oh yeah, heavy finger, man. You're just, you're sliding out. And then you get down the straightaway and you don't get that break on soon enough, you're you're hitting that corner head on. <laughs> yeah. Can't think of anything else. Yeah, I, I I took I took the felony into a side into a side slap into the bottom of the driver's stand, mm. trying to make a corner. Let me see if I can find a new track route they got here. Post, I think they went. I think they canceled today's races and made it like a practice mm -hmm. so they can run the car. I mean, it looks completely different now. Mm -hmm. Now I got it the right way. that it is. one of the guys he's, I think this is the guy that used to run the track but he's really good at the track you know what I mean yeah he runs they the took track. all the big speed bumps out like the, like the edges mm -hmm. so it's kind of flat now where you don't have the, the rounded curbs to, to hit and jump over and stuff it's all they took all that stuff out Oh yeah, yeah. Like all the corners had those big mounds, yeah. like the, like the, you know, like almost like a speed bump. Mm -hmm. They took oh, all that man. out, and made it like a flat track now. But everyone was complaining because that kind of kept you, um, honest. To where right, if you instead of running, you, you know, you were launching up in the air, so it made you go around it. Right. Now you don't have to. Now you can just, they're making it to where you can just take that turn in and cut half that turn off if you want. Yeah, why even have the turn there, right? Yeah, so everybody's complaining about that. And it's like, they're trying to make it to where they could rearrange the track into a different track every other time or every month or something, you know, to where you're not racing the same track over and over and over and over. Yeah. You need to get those, uh, they're called poly barriers. They're about six inches tall. They're polyurethane strips. Mm -hmm. and you can take them and and shape the turns with them, and they're they're they got a nice spring to them. So if you hit them, it'll bounce you out. They have those up against the walls right now, so so you don't slam into the chain link fence. Right. So yeah, I don't know what they're. This is all just testing they're doing right now this year. So it's going to be a weird little. Yeah. So it might be a while before you guys actually do racing, racing. Uh, no, they're going to start the racing. It's just going to be a, it's going to be a free for all for the first, you know, couple of races or something to where, you know, people aren't going to know which way to go or what, you know what I mean? It's going to be different. Right. Well, Unless yeah. you go there and practice every day, you know, which I'm not going to be able to do. So. So when I show up, it's just going to be, hello, this is a surprise. This is which way you're going. You know, this is what the track layout is. Yeah. <laughs> They're just trying to get more people involved in it to where they can, you do the smaller cars and bigger cars all on one track. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they can get the, keep it open. You know, it's, it's, it's not a moneymaker. That's for sure. Yeah. Not yet. Anyways. Make it a more user friendly track. Yes, that way everybody can race there rather than just a a, a couple small cars and then a couple big cars. You know. Yeah. See, we never raced on asphalt when it had the a fresh seal coat on it. 
Because it always made it real slick. We just went on like either newer asphalt, maybe that was about a year old, or older shit that's been there for a while, and you just tack it down in the turns. Yeah. Because it seems like the sealer, especially if you're running like the nitro classes, it gets real oily real quick. Yeah. Uh, so I know they, they spray a lot of a lot of root beer on there. <laughs> and when we were doing uh, our indoor racing with the nitros, we were doing uh, we are actually using um, VHT spray it down in just the turns and then take one of the big custodial mops and then just mop it out. Mm. But we were also using foam tires that we would just coat with uh, uh, roofing silicone. <laughs> just put them in a drill on low speed and just get them nice and flat with the silicone on there. And they would hook up really good. What's up, Eric? Bada. Not a different sticker. Are you kidding me? No. What is going so on? Oh, it's over. I missed the end of it. What's that? What's that, man? Roofing silicone, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You could either use the clear or the black for like the flashing and just put one not super thick but nice thin coat on there where you're not seeing the foam come through yeah. and then just roll the edges out. But you got to just make sure that each one of your tires are within hairs apart as far as diameter. Yeah. Interesting. That I, <laughs> I guess it's my nitro TT3 for... like that. What was that? I used to run my nitro TC3 like that. I'd get a beet juice, an older set of the uh, nitro shoes. Get them all coated up with that. Let them sit for a couple days, and then that's it, man. Just hit the track with them. Those things used to grip really good. That's cool. Yeah, beet juice does work good too, Brandon. The only problem, like, around here with, like, pop or beet juice, anything like that, is way too many bees. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's the, same, it's the same with soda. Dumping soda all over the place too. Right. Wow, that's freaking hot. What's up, Josh? What's up? Oh, damn, Josh. 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 Eric. Sound like you just woke up. Me? Yeah, sound like you had a little nap. No. <laughs> done cleaning up this wire off the road. Didn't get out there today. I was in the hobby shop all day putting oh. ceiling, ceiling in. Oh. Over a country junction? No, no, my hobby shop. Oh. I got all that metal pulled out, all the insulation pulled out. That was all rotted because they use metal with no vapor barrier against insulation. So it just sweated and molded and rotted. Oh. Got a hobby shop now? Uh, I'm, oh my! It's it's what I call the hobby shop. It's a building on my property. Oh, okay. And then went and got beadboard for the ceilings, and proceeded installing them. And of course, nothing is square in there. So okay. All right. Well. It's this was their square back then when they built that. Josh, I got to talk to you Perfect offline time. after, okay? 
Okay. Am I going to have to go to the principal's office? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> oh, I lost the subscriber. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> Them fucking suck ass oh. videos you put up. Because <laughs> yeah. you haven't put videos up in months. <laughs> then you put one up going slower. Yeah, yeah you put one up going <laughs> slow. What do you expect, right? Like, look at this fancy car that's slower than my Tamiya. I know. I put, I, I've been <laughs> slacking. I've been trying to throw one video up a, month, a week at least, but. Yeah, me too, Kurt. I've been... <laughs> hey, on that note, it's slower than my Tamiya is still too. I've been uh... slacking big time. You said that yeah. one's still true, but like others aren't. Huh? <laughs> 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 I said you said that one's still true but slower than other Tamiya's isn't true anymore is that what you're insinuating well I, I mean I think I do have the fastest PTO one in the world yeah but that Rilarlo hasn't even beat mine yet Damn. you don't have a Rilarlo so there no my Tamiya so what <laughs> <laughs> Says you're, I'm letting you. I'm, I'm you're, giving you headway. Your Rolarlo is slow as molasses, is what he's saying. So, oh. you missed the interview. Was it the beginning? <laughs> yeah, it's always at the beginning. Sarge, six thirty. My time. It's online. Seven thirty. Your time. No, it won't be on there until we're done with this. Oh, okay. Or you could rewind it and make them back. Yeah. Oh, man. It's fucking glue. I can tell you this. My Hebeo is faster than your Limitless, and it's only made three passes. That's the same number of passes my Limitless has made. On so. 4S. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be faster. Your name yeah. says top speed. I'm trying, man. I'm doing my best. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I suck. But, wouldn't spend so much time in that garage of yours. Yeah. Right? Did you sell your car? No. Oh. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Uh, started out as a very bad day. But ending was a good one. Because you your what, Haveo went fast. I'm going to tell you what. Man, it's mighty tempting to get rid of all these armor. Yeah, right. Huh. Well, you know where to send them. Yep, I do. For me. <laughs> Dude, where is it? Where is it cheaper to ship it? Ohio or California? <laughs> right. I mean, that's a, a no-brainer right there. <laughs> yeah, California. Actually, all his shit's all bent up. You can have it all. Bent <laughs> 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 up. Talking about Luke. Uh, oh, Sarge got his fusion in. He's working on it. What are you doing to it? Still the plastic off the top. Yeah, what's up with you, Keith? Getting all scared. I know. I don't want to talk online. Oh. Uh, offline. <laughs> One hater makes the video. Right. And he's a fucking he's a whiner anyway, so On the ascent. No talking about it online. He doesn't want to talk about it online. You guys can talk about it, just don't <laughs> include me. That's all. 
It's too late. You're part of you're guilty by association. <laughs> yeah, you started it. <laughs> I know I started it. All right. Anyway. I was just giving heads up to somebody. That's all. The so question like, is who, Sarge. Who was the idiot that made the video that doesn't know what they're talking about? You know, you know who it is. Yeah. The dude that hates all red cat things. That lives in California. You never you don't see his head. I've never Grand. seen what the guy looks like. Called Grand Lucas's dad. Oh, we're talking about Carl Canyon. I'm gonna put it out there. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. yeah, him. It was just so weird how I found it, though. That's one person's opinion. I used to watch them all the time, but yeah, it's Keith. I'll let you in on a little secret. Over and over and over. Don't watch Crawler Canyon and don't watch RC reviews because neither yeah. one of them know what they're talking about. You're talking they about Francis? For free and they just say what they want. Talking about Francis. Francis. Francis knows what he's doing. Francis likes Red Cat, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I heard all day. <sighs> That irritated me when he was selling his stuff for full price and probably got 90% of it for free. I, I disagree with that, though, just because their job is making those videos and looking at stuff. So how much time did he spend doing that? Yeah, but you're at a you're at a swap meet. You're not at a you're not trying to you take it to a retailer and have him sell it for you then. Or sell it online. Don't go to a spot. Oh, I'm talking to get about full price. the dude's name is really Francis, not no. not yeah. the Santa Maria. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, which he does. You know, I don't know if you've ever seen him. He does the same thing as Santa Maria does. Nice yeah, on my live. I don't want him to hate me. Most of the you already don't get hate mail. I know I am. I still watch Santa Maria. I haven't watched him since he whined about the Lucy. I haven't watched all of his stuff, but I still watch some of his stuff. I don't want to have another zombie. Depends on what he's got. As soon as he quit racing for Tekken, that's when I quit watching him because that's he started just buying all his tracks and stuff. Like I watched, I watched his new Traxxas ones because they got he came out with new or refurbished Traxxas. I met him. He's a good guy. <laughs> Just so, to uh, see what they had. I like talking about Crawler Canyon. I like how he dives into stuff. He's just got his opinion about stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he took everything apart on that red cat. Yeah, but the oh, thing yeah, about it is, the thing is like an the asshole. Shit out of Everybody it. has one and have yeah. both things. It's just an opinion. That's all it is. He likes building his own stuff anyway, so. Yeah. And there's like two cars he's ever done that were like good to him. Right. <laughs> I think so. Uh, huh. I mean, if I had access to a lathe and a, a yeah, I mean, he builds a lot of his own yeah. stuff from scratch, yeah, exactly. Yeah, oops, I could have that. He just doesn't like it when it takes longer than four or five screws to get to something, right? <laughs> yeah, really, like not everybody builds the cars the same way, you know. Well, that's you why know. you when you put it. That's why when you put it back together. You only put the four or five screws that you need. Right. <laughs> you don't use that cross member anymore. You don't need it, right? They uh, Especially like the fusion. There's a lot of cross members and a lot of screws and stuff in that thing. It doesn't look like you really need them all. No, I took a lot of on just on my sin. I took a lot of that or cut it. Right. To change the spur gear on my SCX10 Pro, I had to pull half the truck apart because they have it so close to the uh, servo mount. Oh. Uh, because oh, I, really? I went from the 60 to the 56 so you can lower it so it won't hit your drive shaft. 
the base camp 56 john fits if you're wondering okay um to drop the truck down low if you do it like the uh the oracle chassis that i swapped to it lowers the motor some well i couldn't put the shocks in the lower or in the upper shock holes to make the truck sit lower because mm. of the spur gear i had to pull the uh, motor plate i had to pull the servo mount up and loosen the uh um and i had to pull it apart from the drive shaft the out the extended the third drive shaft that goes from the forward motor mount to the transmission just change for gear <laughs> but when it's all together it works fine well it's because they want all that stuff yeah. up forward as far as they can right so yeah i mean there's certain things you got to take with the bad with the good you know yeah i, I, I would the... i would almost i would almost say take out the well yeah i'd almost say take out that servo mount plate and then take off the one screw off of where it attaches to the servo arm and just slide that right out and get to that gear right there and but to pull the servo up. plate you still got to pull the front bumper to get that servo plate out and yeah if you have like, a I, I, stuff I forgot too. about that i forgot about that tab yeah, got the winch or whatever in front, and I, mean, I forgot that and tab on there. Running, running the pan hard. One bolt comes through, the other one goes in. Yeah, because the SCX10 has that weird pan hard that screws through from the inside for the pan hard mount. Yeah, the pro. Yeah, I was I was just trying to think off the top of my head. That's what probably what I would. And I would have yeah. probably looked at that pan hard and said, nope, never mind. So I loosened the rear, the screw out of the back of the pan hard, pulled the back two screws out of the servo mount, tilted it up, then unscrewed the motor plate from the front so I could tilt it down and slide everything out from underneath. But at the end of the day, I could have just pulled the whole motor plate out with one more or two more screws. Yeah. And to work on the ascent, it's not that bad. It's just if you want to pull the motor out, you, you got to move the servo mount out of the way. But you're not getting out of the original ascent. You're not taking that motor plate out without at least taking one of the side rails loose because of the right. way that it mounts in. Now the fusion, it, it just it sits on top with a couple brackets. That truck has to be the easiest one in the world to work on. Because the everything is the fusion. Yes. Yeah. That, it's got to be the easiest to work on because as soon as you start taking screws out, things will fall right out. Mm -hmm. Just other people make it harder than what it needs to be. But still, you swapping the motor on your ascent, Dennis, what was it? Our job between wiring and everything? If that. Yeah. The days of the 10 2 with four screws and you slide the whole it's transmission over, right? out and the drive shaft splits. Right. Those are the not... Those if days. You want, if you want a trail truck that can do that, okay. Go find right. you, go buy a base camp. Mm -hmm. You can unscrew the four screws for the base camp four gear and pop it out the top and service everything there. That's fine. It's a great truck. I have one. I love my base camp. But if you want something that's going to crawl more competitively with a forward motor mount, realize it's going to take more than three minutes to work on it. All right. Yeah. And see, that's the other thing is a lot of the people that are buying these don't understand. They are not really a trail truck they were built as a ready to run comp truck that you can just do a little and bit more to it to make it really competitive they have trail trucks they have the gen 9s the gen 8s the uh -huh. gen 7 yeah the <laughs> heck they got their entry level what is it the ridge runner now that's yeah. motor on act or yeah. yeah they built an, a budget entry level comp truck and then they saw 
hey, people are doing this stuff to them. Why don't we offer one that does that too? And I think that's where people fail to realize is that it's a budget. Yeah. A budget for somebody getting into the hobby. Because I'm sorry, I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars on <clears throat> bit of on and whatever else is the fuck is out there that everybody wants to buy because what if I don't like it? And I just wasted a thousand dollars. Yeah. And right. you know, that's what the DR10 was. It wasn't the fastest drag car that came out. But people bought DR10s to figure out if they wanted to go drag racing. And there's a huge aftermarket support for it. Still with drag racing dying down as much as it is, there's still people holding on. There's still groups. I'm not saying it's dead, but it's died down from what it was. But people, you go out and buy the DR10 and it was a budget, you know, it had a 60 amp ESC with a 3300 motor that you could go out and race. Right. It, it's a platform to build off of. Yeah. Before that, you're converting slashes or you're taking your B6s and swapping them all out. Yeah, so if you take an Ascent or even the Ascent Fusion and hold that next to a purpose-built comp truck, there's not much of a difference in how they're put together. There's, you know, Okay, divorce transfer case and maybe the forward motor mount versus, you know, like some of the trucks that we build where the transmission, everything is on the skid. Yeah. But it's it's the same basics. Everything is there. It's just you can figure how you want everything in it. Swap the motor out in this one. You can't even see it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's in there. <laughs> I love this truck. Right, and, and that's got the, the VDR transmission in it, right? Or VDF? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... VFD. VFD. Vanquish board yeah. design. Yeah, that one. That's what I said. I still have a Gen 7. Does it look like a Gen 7? No. But I still have... Only thing I don't... That's not stock on the Gen 7 itself is uh, the body and the tires. Other than that, it's still a Gen 7. Also, Keith, if someone like you were to get an Ascent, are you changing the motor? Probably not. Then why do you care? It Take it out of the out. box and run it. When it burns out, you're going to upgrade it anyways. So, Right. And right. you'll sit here for a half hour and we can talk you through it. Keith, I'm going to give you a little example of of course you can make a 6s Javi. all right not <laughs> yeah Javi, you can do whatever you want with it this is basically just a glorified scf Dennis, wait one second let me get my glasses on let, let him get his readers <laughs> <laughs> okay i can see now Basically, everything SEX 10-2 on here. The shocks, the diffs, oh. transmission. Yeah, slide over a little bit there. $100 chassis. You can build them however you want. It's just, you know, with this, I decided to go with the SEX 10-2 setup because I already had it. Everything's in the center. The transmission, the motor, everything's right there. Now, my other comp trucks, they're a little bit more complex than what this is because the transmissions and, you know, with the servo setups. Yeah. It just, you can take that, the Ascent or the Fusion out of the box and just drive it. If you're not going to change anything, just drive it. Put a battery in it, run it. The tires. You don't need to change the tires. Keith, you want to see a nightmare? Anything. Yeah. This transmission is all one piece. So here's the transmission, the extension, up to the motor plate. I have to use a tiny wrench to fit in here. That's and the did, nut, right? I mean, did you build right. that or what is that? 
This is a TGH 210 transmission. Ford motor mount from their too low to 30% overdrive. So this transmission, there's two nuts that right there in front of my finger, it's hard to see. He's got two okay. nuts in front of his finger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least they go, my nuts go, finger goes in front. Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> but these little bolts, just so Mitchell's not offended, um, you have to use a wrench that comes with this transmission to loosen it a quarter turn at a time to adjust your mesh. To take it apart, and it, right? And it bolts up the same as a three-year axial transmission. But it is a pain in the butt. But it works great. So sometimes you have to think, is it worth it? To me, this one is. This transmission is not for everyone, though. Mm. So yeah, this no. one's not that's again. what you get. That was karma. That's instant karma, whatever just happened. <laughs> You're the one that's mean to me all the time, and I get the karma. <laughs> I'm not mean to you. I'm speaking I hope my flips over the next time out. It probably will. I mean, that's a given. <laughs> See, and you Why just you said, said being mean to me again. I just said my Tamaya is faster than your Rolarla. All right. Fine. Be that one. Fine. But keep in mind, I've only run mine on 2S. So you say 6,000 milliamps of 2S. Oh, I did no, take the show's tires on that. Though. Though. Get it right. <laughs> I changed those tires on the Ecto. I did it anyway, even though I said I wasn't. It looks a lot better. Yeah, so anyhow, Keith, with the Ascent, if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. Eric and I both have it. I Josh got it already. It. Huh? You got it already. <laughs> All right, well, stop watching videos. Yeah. And the overthinking. Yes. Eric and I have one. Josh knows about them. He's driven them. He's seen them. If you need any help with it, all you have to do is ask us. Yeah. Because yeah. we're not going to steer you in the wrong direction, that's for sure. I love my accent. That's the most thing I've driven recently. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it again tomorrow to another comp. And then after that, the underdrive's coming out. It's getting standard gearing, and it's going to beat the creek with me. See, what I have you done so far in yours, Dennis? I know tires and shocks. That guy was no. saying the shocks are so no, no, bad. No. Mm. I haven't done <laughs> anything to it except I changed all the electronics out of it. You didn't do the shocks, though? I mean, you didn't take the that spring out? out. I just did some more springs out. That was it. That was it. My shocks are still the same shock. Which truck, which ascent did you get? <laughs> I got, I didn't get the fusion. I got the regular one. You got the blue one because he can split the body and put his big battery in the back. Okay. Right. 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 So if you're going to do what, what I know you're going to do with it, just put a battery in it and drive it. You don't have to touch the, the shocks. You don't have to touch anything. Just drive it. All you're going to do is trail it and run it through the mud and water, right? Basically, yeah. I just wanted something we, that doesn't flip over so easy. Just, well, that's definitely not going to flip over. Leave it alone. You don't have to do anything to it. If it flips over, that means you're going up something steeper yeah. than like 37 degrees or some shit like that and trying to go sideways at the same time. Yeah. You know, the tires are great. They're, they are really good tires. It just me... I had enough bead locks that I just took the just, tires off the plastic wheels. Yeah, you kept the tires. You just put bead locks on them. Right. Yeah. The tires are really good tires. So in your case, it comes with stickers to put on the wheels. You get either blue or red rings. That It's a, a decal that goes on the outer part of the wheel. 
Right. It if you want like to put those bottom. on, you can put those on. If not, paint them. But mm, yeah, because they are made out of styrene. Just leave them alone. You don't have to do anything. And if you want, just put a heavier wheel and tire under it and run it that way. Take the wheels and the green wheels and tires off the. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to take the green wheels off, well, the ones off my uh, van and just swap them out with the ones on the van on here and the ones off the van on there. All right. And the ones that are on the van are those regular beadlock wheels? Yeah. They're the, they're they're the, there you the go. Chi they're rack. Green chi racks. They're actually, you have real high racks, don't you? Yeah, them are on the the, 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 the Bronco. The Bronco. The yeah. racks are on the van. Yeah. They're like chrome rim. Oh, people are wanting to see what you got. Uh, Brian, he got the blue red cat. Yeah. Still in the car. Oh, it's hidden. Yeah. Still <laughs> hidden. No, I, I got this. Knife. The other day. A half, half knife. <laughs> and I know it's probably been asked before the stream, but what battery are you going to run in that? The two cell lipo. I'm sorry, you got me. And you have an adapter to go from the track yeah. to the Dean's? Yep. Yeah, because these ten twos are Deans, and I bought a couple, three or four adapters. What are you gonna look up, Brian? What the, oh, the, the, the red cat is yeah. I'm gonna cut the whole top off though, and put it, you know, roll bars on it, and all that shit. So I'm gonna just do a lot of stuff to it. Don't make it. I too just heavy. didn't. No. Hey. Hey. I guess all the rock crawl, I mean, all the comp trucks are going to be hard to work on, right? With, Basically. With the more fancy stuff like Ford and Murder Mounts and stuff, the harder it is. Now you got three drive shafts, you got different placement of the motor and servos and electronics. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. And it's not hard to work on. It's just not simple. A little more time consuming, I guess. All right. The time consuming. And as many hours as you have as building your damn semi and classic turtle and all that stuff. You're not going to have a problem. 15 I'm extra minutes say, to swap your motor. Through. Working on the, the the king hauler, right? I mean, the trains and the king hauler look pretty uh, pretty complicated. I built his transmission. The <laughs> he did the first time. time that. I did the first. Time. I just said well, you did mean, the first time. It, though. <laughs> I mean, can't be any worse than taking that thing out. Yeah, the transmission, the king hauler is not too hard to take out. It's the internals that suck. Yeah. Well, you got what fifty million gears in there? Not really. Uh, six gear sets. Yeah. yeah. And then friggin' the shifting rods and all that yeah. shit. And set in your mesh while it's all apart before you put everything together. The case is on. I didn't do that the first time. And then we put car grease in it, lopped in so thick that it drips out. <laughs> oh, that's just you. At least it wasn't Shugu, though. No, that's what you use to hold the wires together. Yeah. Oh, Jared, what did you do? 
Keith, this is all your truck is on the inside. Except I want brushless in mine because that's just me. Yeah. It's the you same the, thing. You put it in, right? Yeah, I put the motor and yeah. that ESC in. Yeah. I also did the servo and the servo winch, which you don't have to go through all that. I do want to get a servo winch, though. They got, they I still do have, have the channel, stock shocks right? on it. Stock shocks. All the the original chassis braces are still in here. Yeah. Everything is the way it came out of the box, minus the electronics. And the tires, right? The tires are the same. These are the oh, stock tires. Yeah. I just put them on the box wheels. Yeah. And you do, you do. comping with that. Yes. And like I said, after this comp, I'll pull the underdrive gears out and put the standard gearing back in it so it's back to just trails, trail gear. And then go trailing. Yep. I'm going to take it to beat the creek. Going to kill some batteries in it over the weekend. And then probably put the underdrive gears back in it to comp it again. You don't use the big battery in the back, though, right? It's just, what do you use yep. in the back? A full size three S battery. Okay, so you do do you do use a full size in there? Yeah. And believe it or not, the way that this truck is with that battery in it, the truck is balanced nice. So everybody's saying to move the battery forward, put a smaller battery in here or over there. You don't have to get this truck. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because. It, it's it's what fifth was it fifteen fifty nine forty one or something like that stock out of the box or fifty six forty forty four or something like that right out of the box we scaled this truck and it's scaled at sixty forty I'm using okay. that's you use, I, I didn't know if I didn't know if it was sixty forty yeah. or if it was a little it was you know right under or whatever forty with the battery I thought everybody was using battery. small friggin' little batteries on the mm -hmm. sides no 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 you don't have to go. You're reading too much into it. Yeah. That's why I said, if you want to know anything about this truck, all you got to do is talk to me and Eric about it, or Josh. We, <laughs> I've been in the to this truck enough to to see where the issues are and what needs to be addressed. Well, they, they also they said you can't put regular. You can't put like shock the spring shocks you know that go on the outside because they're too big well, that's that's not only that i mean there's certain shocks i can't put on certain vehicles certain right certain cars i have to use internal springs because the gap is not wide enough to put big bore shocks in there or spring over shocks in there that's just the way it is if yeah you, if you're gonna pet people about that then don't buy any fucking rc there is because you're gonna have a problem with every damn rc there is out there these shocks work great yep they work really good i have a set of red cat shocks on my other comp truck and they work great just take that internal spring out right no leave it alone don't yeah. don't touch it take it out of the box do what you're going to do with it put a battery in it and drive it don't do anything to the truck itself mm -hmm. If you're going to cut the roof out and add a roll bar into it, do that. Yeah. But remember one thing. <laughs> That's going to make it heavier. Yeah. Where are you going to mount it? You have to figure out where you're going to mount it on this chassis. So now you have to get the wheels turning to figure out where you're going to mount. Okay. So with that being said, Take it out of the box and just drive it. Don't add any of that, that top weight to it because now you're going to raise the center of gravity to the point where you're going to be yeah, in the same gonna... situation as you are right now with that. The other two I got, yeah. Yes. Did you get rid of the TRX-4? Not yet. Not yet. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying... I hate Traxxas. I'm just not a fan of them. I've, I've never had them. I don't like them, to be honest. See, so you don't even know then. Right. 
It's just, <laughs> I, I know from seeing those trucks out on the trails <laughs> that those trucks are very capable and they're not top heavy until you start adding stuff on the top. Yeah, of course. Well, that's not tracks as well. That's, that's any, that's any car. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and how much are you trying to get rid of the TRX for? It's also a high trail. 350. That's also the high trail, isn't it? Yes. So even without adding stuff to the top of the body, it's your top center heavy. gravity is already Yeah, it's already yeah. top heavy. It's a mutter. It's made for mudding, not for yeah crawling anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's made for like not going up hills and not going <laughs> yeah, down. Not hills. not doing no side hilling mm -hmm. for sure. It's a light yeah, trail truck up. is all they were. I fucked up. And the cost to get it back to normal would be enormous. What good normal? hundred dollars or something at least, right? I mean, oh, yeah, you no. mean get it back to a regular? Yeah, because you got to buy the shocks, you got to buy the links, you got to buy the tires. Can't you just get away with uh, changing the shock towers? Nope. Nope. No. On um, this truck, the shocks no. are longer, the links are longer. Everything is longer. No, no, we we're talking the TRX4, I thought. Yes. yes yeah, TRX4. On my TRX4, I went from 100 millimeter down to 90. I took everything off the top and I added weight to the bottom, but it wasn't a lot. But that's the defender. Right. But isn't the shock tower incorporated with the inner fender well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because of the that stuff. But it also is different length, different shocks, everything. Yes, everything's different. Right. So now you well, I, I know I know sometimes how they do the high trail is the longer the longer shock and a different shock tower. Well it's a shorter the name high trail. I mean, come on. No, I'm i I'm just I'm just saying usually they do with the high trails, they, they make the shorter shock tower. No, it's and longer shock tower. It's just longer shocks, longer links. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, John. But that's the tier for N that they got. Yeah, like I said, I like I said, I didn't know if it was the same with the tracks because I don't have one. What they did is they took from the original TRX4, mm -hmm. the first kit that you were able to buy for that truck. Yeah, they put it on there. Is on that high trail now. Yeah. It comes factory with the lift kit that was an option for the original. Oh, okay. So if you want to lower it like a regular TRX, what then you buy just the standard suspension. Yeah. It comes with longer cords for the for the height, of the longer links, longer shocks, longer it's drive a, shafts. That's a different servo mount too, isn't it? Right there's a servo yeah. mount. Yeah, it lowers the servo. Yeah, all of it. Yeah, I did. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it lowers That's the servo and moves the pan hard bar down too. Over one inch ground mm -hmm. clearance. Everything's you know good, good inch longer, pretty much. That's what she said. Every little inch counts, and you got to end it. At And a lot of things, a lot of people fail to realize is this. There's a couple of things. What's the, what's the best crawler? That's the first question I ask. <laughs> How much money you got? Second question I ask, where are you driving? Is it sandy? Is it with muddy? It? Yeah. You got rocks? That's the first question. What are you doing with it? Exactly. What are you doing with it? <laughs> well, one, I mean, guy go. one guy hit it right on the head when somebody asked, what is the best crawler to buy? The one in your hand? And he said, everybody's going to have an opinion of what's the best, but there is no the best. It's what you can afford and what you're going to do with it. Yeah. So, you know, you could have the, the lightest budget in the world and anything that you buy is going to be the best for you. <laughs> you, have, you have a Harley budget. You know, anything that you're going to spend thousands of dollars on is going to be the best for you. Now, if you have a Harley taste and a moped budget, you're fucked. Yeah. 
you're going to spend a long time building that motor. <laughs> right. Then people say, why are your rigs so heavy? Um, you try to drop a lightweight vehicle uphill in sand and see what happens. And I'm sure Josh can vouch for this. With our comp trucks, there is so much more better stuff out there than what we've put in our trucks. We're still at a couple thousand dollars for each truck that we've built. But if you think about it, all that money you put into it, you'll never get back out because it's still only worth what you paid brand new for it if you've never used it. Mm -hmm. So if you buy a brand new TRX4 Sport for $500 and you put $1,000 worth of parts on it, take that $1,000 worth of parts off of it, sell those, try and get your money back for that, and then sell the truck for $400 because you might be able to get $400. But you're not going to get $1,500 for it because you have all that money into it. I was reading the comments, and David said, y'all are taking these toys way too serious. Wait a minute. Hold on, David. Didn't you build a dyno for your crawler? Mm-hmm. Hot. And, 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 and did you notice right underneath that I put, yeah, I le we learned it from watching you, David. We're not the only ones that take it serious. David? Mm -hmm. All right, Pot. I don't take it seriously and, at all. Me either. Okay. I don't. And when, when you, you sit back and look at it, you spend all that money to buy one of these. Yeah, you're going to get serious about it because that's a lot of money to dish out on something that is just going to sit there on the shelf and not be used. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it serious and I'm going to go and play with it. And I'm going to keep doing what I do because it's my money. I got crawlers in boxes. I got Oh yeah, no! You're I right, got RC there's... stuff. We got junk everywhere. Every single person that's on this panel has <laughs> RC junk everywhere. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even have a lot of RCs, and I got a lot of RC junk. It's not I mean, even so much that. Everybody on this panel has one or more really cheap RC in their room. I do. Yeah. My first RC was a cheap RC, and I still have that cheap RC because I still use that cheap RC. Mine are right there. Mm. Yep. <laughs> My TTO one's still sitting in front of me. <sighs> or two, whatever it is. Yeah. And I just seen the comment that Dirk said, exactly. Whatever yeah. puts a smile on your face. Is whatever makes you happy, happy, man, you know. Mm -hmm. I know we give yep. each other bad times about the Tamiyas and Tamayas and all that crap, but yeah, if it makes you happy, fuck, who cares? Well, it's, it's, it all depends on who it is, you know, depending on how far we're going to sit there and, uh, yeah, right. You know, <laughs> at sometimes the end it's of off the, day, the top rope and sometimes it's not on a, you know, <laughs> at the end right of the there. day, it's there not you about the brand. It's about... Look at the nice rims he put on it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I drove that <laughs> trying to drift it. Oh my God, what a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and Dwayne said it right too. It's not junk. It's my treasure. Yeah. yeah some mm -hmm. of my funnest stuff's only cost a hundred dollars for the car and it's a blast right. to drive, man. My little gra, man. I love that thing. I right. love the whether, truck. whether it's cash out of your pocket or plastic coming out of your wallet. It's hard-earned money regardless of what it's spent on. Yeah, because uh, my first speed car was a Hoseum, and it's, it's probably maybe Hard that big. Show. I changed it, put better tires on there, and put a – it wasn't supposed to be on 3S, but I made it go on 3S, and it's a blast. I've crashed it. I've wrecked it. i fixed it. i painted the body, duct tape the body. Then I just – I still have fun with it. All right. Still. No. And it cost me like I don't know eighty bucks. And around here, because all the nitro on road racing and nitro off road racing kind of went away for quite a while, I still had an itch to go racing. So what did I buy? I went to Radio Shack and bought a bunch of X mods. <laughs> Twenty seven dollars. It was yeah. fun. 
that I said, you know what? Somebody else is making the same scale, but they're a whole lot more money. And I want, went and bought a bunch of Kyosho Mini Zs. <laughs> same fun, but in a faster, more expensive taste. I'm right there with you, Dwayne. It just, you know, it it depends on where you want to go and how much you want to spend. Because trust Ooh. me, you're not seeing millions of dollars of trucks when you're at Beat the Creek mm -hmm. where they're all high quality stuff. Mm -hmm. The only place you see that, that is USTE, and they take their trucks, put it in the show and shine. Then they take, once the show and shine is over, they take that truck, wrap it up in bubble wrap, put it in the box, put it in the safe, and then put it in their vehicle, and then they go home. You'll never see some of them trucks out there running on there because they spend too much money. That's the part I hate about the hobby is why are you going to spend all this money and don't drive it? Yeah. I can understand the tribute trucks, and I can understand like you're doing a special one-off RC, but I'm getting mine dirty. I'm sorry. Right. Now, everybody thought when I built this truck that it was going to be a shelf queen. You see that dirt sitting in the fender well? That was no. just from USTE. No, that's not from your shelf. Dirt. You know that's from your shelf. Yeah, uh, that's dust. <laughs> I could wipe it off today. Tomorrow it's going to be dusty. You know that's from your shelf. But I drove it at Beat the Creek last year. I seen him drive it. I drove it into the barn at night. Crazy bastard. You know, I didn't build it just for a show and shine or for a build off that Sean did. I built it to drive it because I like the look of a truck. You know, it, it's already got a couple scars on it from up against a rock or a tree. I didn't. I definitely wasn't going to drive it at Great Lakes Gauntlet. <laughs> I drove a well, different maybe, truck there, maybe, which got beat maybe, to hell. Maybe up front you would have. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would have drove it up front for sure. Yeah. But I had more fun driving my, my SCX-102 up there. Oh, yeah. Just tell Keith nothing matters if it's green. <laughs> See? Nothing matters if it's green. Yes. Be green. Yep. If it's yours and you're happy, <laughs> that's all that matters. Yeah. Like I said, just take it out of the box, do a, what little bit you want to do with it, and just drive it. Don't worry about what all what these movies mean? are telling you. They can't even give me this shit. Enough. What is that? It's just a thing to hold the pencils in, but it's missing two pieces. Or you put it together wrong. No, it's missing two pieces. Or you put it together wrong. Well, I know oh. I put it together wrong, but it, it's <laughs> missing two pieces anyways. <laughs> We'll build the other two pieces. Right, it's almost done. After I bought it, I said I, I said I could have fucking made one myself. We'll make the other two pieces. And JD, if you were to come here and go to a comp with me and Josh, you'd probably have more fun than sitting there watching those guys comp out by you. The comps over here, they got to be more brand ambassadors than anything. So that's why I go and hang out with Josh and, and those guys because it's fun. They became divas. If you win, you win. If you don't, so what? You still had fun. Mm -hmm. Now here we do a lot of follow the leader. Yep. Uh, I mean, and then somebody gets stuck, like, oh, I got a winch. Let me pull them out. We keep them moving. And that's why I can't <laughs> wait for, for this summer to happen because I I want to get back out and do more trailing and, and try to get an event together again where I did before. Because just hanging out over there at 
these couple of places that I go is a blast because now all of a sudden you got 20 other people just showed up like doing it goes the same on top thing. there keith a top yeah. slot yeah it should looks like it but it doesn't because there's a thing here and there's a thing there what thing this thing yeah, it goes in there see the one I'm top that missing a piece well i wouldn't say comp the one uh event now it's cockeyed it yeah was good was um it was um a two-man event there's too much pressure. You had a string. You both had to be attached to each other, and you got to help each other out. Now, that was fun. Right, and that was the first comp that I did with Josh. It was called a, a buddy comp. Yeah, and it was that was fun. I can't wait for the next one. I've done two of them with those guys and loved it. Had a blast. Yeah, the closest place I can go to crawl like that is Hartford Rocks, and I'm not traveling four hours and 15 minutes just for a day of crawling. No, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go to Richmond driving a river. There, J.D., everybody says, oh, I set that there. No, <laughs> I drove that up there. Because I wanted to see if my truck could do it. And it did it. It's an all stock SCX 10 2. It climbed from way back here and started side hilling and got right to here. As soon as I got to that nub, that's where it fell off. I couldn't do that with my comp truck. It's just, it's a purpose-built truck. Like, I don't need this piece. Hey, you got an extra piece now. Yeah. It, Wait, you, it, you went to missing two pieces to have an extra piece. How does that work? No, no, I, I don't need it, but I can, I can probably glue it on here. <laughs> oh, no, he's gluing shit. Or you lower, it don't down, need it. lower it down to the bottom, Keith. It doesn't up, go Bobby in this slot. How you doing, buddy? Look how far it's off on that slot. Even trying to bend the fucking thing. Oh. Now maybe I can. Yeah. See, there you All go. All about relaxing and decompressing, exactly. Right. Just going out, <laughs> having a good time, seeing what your truck can do, and how close you can get your, your butt to chew in your shorts. Yeah. I would love to take one of my crawlers on the beach, but man, that sand. Oh. Yep. Gotta clean that shit. Exactly. Exactly. Strip the whole thing. You got nothing to do. It's a good thing to go do, because then you gotta come home and then strip it. I'm like, I did that once. What's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, nah. he was my partner for the first buddy comp. Uh, it was a 44 year age gap. <laughs> Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, we had a good time. Young Buck and uh, Father Time putting it down. All right. I don't know why I got these, but I like them. I don't know what to put them on. <laughs> well, you know why you got them is because you like the tread. I like the tread. It's harder. I don't know what to put them on. I got some wheels here that could use another set of tires. Oh, I got the wheels. I'm talking about <laughs> vehicle. Oh, I got a set of wheels. Where are they at? Oh. What's up, Sean? Welcome in. What's up, Sean? Sean. What's up, what's up, what's up? 
Fuck you, Sean. Hey, what time does that event start next week? Uh, yeah, it's o'clock, I think, or nine o'clock. Well, the next time you don't want to go live, don't wait until 8.45. Say something mm -hmm. like at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Dude, <laughs> I, was, I was already in the fucking bar at 5 o'clock. And then, and that, then you, when you walk into the bar, you already know you're not going live because you can get drunk and go home and fall asleep on the couch. Text somebody and say, hey, I'm not going live. Do you, say something think, like that at do you think when I walk, do you think when I'm walking out the door of the bar of my work and in the door of the bar, I was thinking about, hey, you know what? Let me tell people I'm not going live. Not you should be. Yeah, you should be. That's should why be. that's why you're a short Irish dick. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's not the size, it's the speed. Yeah, I got these right here. Yeah, it's a nice one at Boots. No, these are um, KYX. That's a nice set. I like them. Yeah, I like them too. I just don't. I'm thinking I'm gonna put. Those. Well, I don't have many. I don't have many one hand scale trucks anymore. Uh, Keith, I went back and started listening to your interview. Well, your little guy was interviewing Green Frog, and let me tell you. Green Frog did not help you at all. Like he, he asked him, "Do you have any RCs?" Yeah, RCs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what kind of RCs? Well, RCs. Mm -hmm. Do you have callers? Yeah, I got callers. Well, like it's like pulling teeth, you know. I think Green Frog was higher than fucking Keith was. <laughs> what interview was that? It's tonight. You'll see. You can see it. Yeah, yeah but, but right now they were talking about girls, so I was listening to him, but I just had to jump in. Right now they were talking yeah. about girls and little figures and see if yeah. I can send some to him. And they were talking yeah. about fish. It was so funny. Yeah, my dog named Fish. Yeah. Stop everybody in the chat. Stop, stop. I got to say, stop everybody. What's your shirt say? Dan Gander, know what? No filter. Uh, no filter. Yeah. Hey, I had to work. You know. Yeah, me. it was pretty filter rough at the beginning. I, you know why I have no filter? Because I don't give a fuck. I fucking totally agree. Oh, I Great found news. the piece I, I lost. Breaking news. I don't care. Was it on your desk? It was underneath the stupid one-page direction they give you. Creepy. If you're talking directions, you don't buy you don't buy this construction equipment. Oh, I needed this too. This piece fits there, so it'll it's all balanced. Dennis. What are those going on? But man, it's like I cut the damn thing. The uh Franken the, the new new build. This oh. one. What length are they? I hope those are 90s and not 100s. Yeah, those are 90s. It's yeah. going on this. It's going on this uh, 10 2 chassis. I've heard good things about them and I've heard bad things about them, but I think I've heard more good things and bad things. You know what, Tank? I've heard good things about you and bad things about you. Yeah. yeah. So, so bad, bad things, things and good things. <laughs> <laughs> now I didn't say that. Sean said that. <laughs> wow! Look at the friggin'. Okay, Dwayne. I I wasn't sure if you were doing a full figure or just like the partial. I think that's what lined you, up. What are you building, baby? <laughs> it's just a thing to hold my pencils in, but it's got. It's got two lines that's supposed to hold up. They got two uh, cutouts that's supposed to hold uh, line up. But it's like, yeah, this maybe one's way take, the hell over here. Maybe take that bottom piece out and flip it around. Uh, yeah. yeah. Over, it might be upside down. Might be a good idea, Dennis. 
Oops. <laughs> a little slow there, Eric. A little slow. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Javier Javier says hello there, Sean. Uh, he also said old people and kids got no filter. <laughs> exactly. Right. Oh no, no, no. Wait, correct that. Old people, vets, and children. <laughs> Cause when you get a whole bunch of vets together, you better watch out because words will start flying. Oh, Sean, besides your dozer and excavator, am I bringing anything else back with me? Well, I'll be damned, Dennis. Oh, maybe. Let's see. I mean, well, I'm going to talk to Jeremy. Maybe I'm going to see what Jeremy might hold on with some of this stuff. Maybe like. they're all upside down. What about up, the, uh, Phoenix? Put a pencil in. Oh, the Phoenix will be coming with me to give people. Yeah. These two line up. All right, just let me know. Yeah, because I just got the new, I got some new top heavy paint for stickers and stuff. I'm at up with Kevin, you know, home for East Speaking of stickers, Sean, you got any new stickers for your new channel, Sean's RC Construction? No, not yet. I had, but I don't know what I've done. I had the, I had the dozer blade. Like the cat that shows like a picture, but I don't know what the fuck I don't know. Like I left them go in New York because the dozer are blade. So it's Sean Yeah, I saw that. I like that. Yeah, you need to get some stickers made. I need to put them on. Yeah. Because tomorrow's supposed to be warm. I got them. I'm going to finish my uh, wall for Marcy Garage. Yeah. I don't have that. The, the only thing I have last night on camp scale is. Big Komodos, my, um, what do you call it, my Range Rover, my Land Rover 6x6, six six. I'm an SCX-10 too. Oh, I'm not Frankenstein Tomia, the Tomia that's more RC4 drive than it is actually Tomia. What are you going to do to that Komodo? Yeah, no, yeah the Komodo, that, that's, I'll never do that. Do you leave in Mitchell? <laughs> later, everybody. Peace out. out. See you later, See you later Mitch. Mitchell. Oh, no. See you, Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, for sure, I got rid of I got rid of my BRX one, my BRX two, my T ninety. You know, right? Yeah, I'll go on. Yeah, I'll go on. Yeah, I'll go He's a fisherman, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the night bot's a little tough in here, Javier. If you put more than three emojis, it yeah knocks you down. Or typing caps, it knocks you down. Oh, uh, night bot? Yeah. <laughs> so, Dennis, I put those new tires yeah, those official badass. on the new rims. It looks even, well, let me just show you. Totally different now, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally different. Uh, a lot mm, no, it's an uh, Ecto. Oh, it's a little bit of Still all fucked up in the bottom. Cool or whatever. You finally got that one? Yeah, I, went so. I, went three, I went three times to buy that Ecto when they first came out. And three times they come out with completely different rates because they didn't have the Ecto. So they just keep the money and come out with something different. Oh. What's up, TJ? What's up, guys? How you doing? Not ignoring you. We're just. <laughs> What's up, my black and knees, brother? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it, Javier. When I'm at home, it, I, I, it, it was just like the trucks. The last time I drove the BRX01, the BRX02 was at the last USTE. So they're just sitting there on the shelf. And I was like, you know what? This is just not right to be safe to rely that's 
Dennis Marino spaces I, I bought. How many you got left? Half. How many left? <laughs> the ones you're going to use. K and K spacers. I had 60 of them. I think I got like 25 left. They go quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't realize where you ah! use and how many you're, that you're using. Because I put, I needed like a little spacer for the shot. So you stay up straight in that. I was like, oh my God. Well, there's four. Yep. Sean, I got something for you, man. I don't know if you've seen this truck that got featured in uh, RC Car Action. Uh, do, do I have a share screen? Yeah, you should. Hold on for a second. Uh, this is a real pretty rig. Hold on. I think you'll like this. Hey, the RC, if I was you, I would take that thing, walk over to the bin, throw it in the bin, walk over your cupboard, take out a cup, set it aside, and put the pencils in the top of the cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty sweet rig. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, is that a six this. wheel drive? Looking like it. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, the new. I right. really new. like to do my fucking truck six wheel drive. That's a logging truck right there. Yeah, yeah the new nice. that, that new red one that I have, but it, it's still up in New York. It, it'll get sent that uh, when I head to Detroit, it'll get posted up to Detroit too. That's it, nice. It's going to be a fucking nice truck. Like it's fully. The whole body is a. Uh, what do you call it? The whole body is like die cast. Die cast. Steel. All backs open, all the side doors open, everything. Like it's on sweet truck. I'm going to build like a full, the whole back fit. You know, on your KVRC, do you take the back off your king hauler? Right. So that whole back is actually on hinges that opens. I want to build like a full. Oh, the whole back seat. opens, huh? That's yeah, fun. it's all on hinges. It's all die cast. So I want to build like a full kitchen and beds and everything in that so I can sleep area. Oh, nice. Yeah. Somebody built that one right there off the yeah. one that, that's running. That's on fucking cool. Drive, drive rest, huh? Yeah. Off a King Hauler rig, right? Yeah, the guy that built the one to one of that ran it at Pike's Peak. Yeah. Of this rig um, right here, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, oh that thing is crazy. Ooh, look at those axles! And I'm gonna leave that there for a minute. One sec. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, they're portal axles, and he's got them flipped upside down. Sick. That is really, really sick. I don't need this piece. Well, I'm going to put shelf queens. Does anybody see anybody, anybody see who? Mm -mm. Not, not in a little bit again. Uh, he was in chat last week. Said he's been real busy with work. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's a decent, nice paint job right there. Yeah, I like that paint job. This right here. Can you, is, you see the front of it? Built it like the Avenger monster truck. Yeah. Shell points. Let's get that battery hidden right there. It's not too bad. I wonder if that's Lexan. It must not be like because you. it's got metal friggin' screws in it. You put metal screws. Yeah, I I did it. I did. I put metal screws in my Lexan. That might be a Lexan body. Yeah, that's a really good looking uh, rig right there. Yeah, I like how it's all open here. Definitely has that whole uh, Road Warrior vibe going to it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how often you guys peek at this particular uh, page, but man, sometimes I just see some really <laughs> good looking cool. stuff here. Yeah. Which one? This uh, Dakar? Yeah. 
Yeah, that Unimod. Let's see, go back, because we haven't looked at this in a bit. Going into the new year. Ooh. <laughs> that glue in here. Glue, glue, I need some glue. No, you don't. <laughs> back away from the glue. Always need glue. Oh, has a Put the glue glue. down and nobody gets hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. G L U E glue. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not how you spell glue? Yeah, so yeah we're just, we're just you spell glue. That's just that's why we're laughing. G L U E. Yeah, which we're just chocolate because <laughs> it's you and glue. Exactly. No. It should not be used. There's no glue. you and glue. Yes, I don't know how to spell. Jesus. G L U E. We're laughing that, right? because you spell glue. It's glue <laughs> and also you as in you, Keith. Yeah. Yeah. It was just funny the way you spelled it. It was slow and right. It's like you're on Sesame you on Sesame Street. I thought glue. I thought I spelled it wrong. No, no, you spelled it right, but it sounded like you're on Sesame Street. It's just funny the way you did it. Yeah, that's so we were why I spelled it right because I asked Tracy. <laughs> if you look at the warning label on it, it says "Keep away from children." And yes. food. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff the glue. <laughs> needs to get one of those stickers that comes on medicine bottles do not operate heavy machinery and or glue hey, I'll, I'll not say anything because I'm this dyslexic as fuck <laughs> no it's not called dyslexic it's called your iris hey, it doesn't uh, matter to me Sean you can fucking say anything you want you're fucking dyslexic, I, I'm, I'm, dyslexic. I'm, fucking no yeah. I'm so fucking bad the words like me, I'm, I, I'm dyslexic and Siri can't fucking even understand me if I try to use That's where it's really bad. <laughs> I can't cheat. I can't fucking cheat and you talk to text because Siri no fucking clue what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even spell it right because you ask her how to spell it. You say, so, yeah. Oh, shit. Instead of putting Arnold Schwarzenegger in a State Farm commercial, they push it, push you to put Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to be in the car with the kids and I'd be getting so fucking mad because I'd be asking Siri something on the phone and she would come out with something absolutely like completely off a different planet from what I asked for so the kids would be in the back of the car laughing and then the more they were laughing the angrier I was getting with Siri <laughs> then be, dad you want us just be after and I'd be like fuck no I'm like I'm getting <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Sean. I'd be if I were, I'd be left my ass up too. Yeah, they'd be killing themselves laughing, like me getting pissed off. Frank, did you see the paint job on that on that hot rod there? What paint job? What are you talking about? The tank, uh, Frank. He it looks like he's frozen now. Okay, sorry. No, I'm not frozen. I want to talk to Dennis real quick. Yes, Frank. Uh, can I? I want to order some new channel stickers because I ran out. Uh -huh. I want to send them to you so you can bring it to Beak to Creek like that. I won't get shipping to Canada and more expensive. Okay. okay? Yeah. Then uh, in the WhatsApp, can you send me your address, shipping address, so I can put it on vinyl disorder to actually sh get them shipped to you? And then don't forget them at your house, but bring them to Beat the Creek, please. I'm not in the WhatsApp, but I will send it through oh. private messenger right now. Sure. John, Mark, John Mark, let me expect it on those. Yeah, as soon as, I get, as soon as I get the printer running. Are you going to have it running right now? No, not yet. I know he's he's dragging his legs too much. So and plus, anyways, I want to get this done before. So, are you good in tight sticker meal or something like? That? Uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl stickers, vinyl disorder. Two hundred and fifty stickers for sixty three bucks. That's not ten below that. Yeah. 
and that is sent. Thank you. Easy enough. Maybe RC get a fucking get a, a glass, so a fucking thing to <laughs> I've got lots of cups for pencils. I should have built one myself, really. Hey, John. I got to see how this is going. Odds on how long it takes? I give it five minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> for yeah, that right. kitchen couch to take over your body. <laughs> uh, yeah. For me, nah, I shall be fine. I, I am fucking exhausted, but I like to see what you chat and not in the next stop and we'll read the chat. But the legs are looking good. I'll be fucking chilly down here. Can I go take a fucking eight now? Take fucking only four and five or something. Brum, brum. Red rum? Rum. That's full will. It don't sound like that anyways, but... I thought you said red rum. Oh, no. I said brum, brum. Oh. I heard I red, red rum. rum. Red rum. <laughs> Just like that lion on the commercial. Or Halloween commercial. Not Halloween, but Mom, Thanksgiving Mother. commercial. Fuck you. <laughs> it says, fuck you. What size tank? There what size stickers did you order? Three inch by two inch. They're small stickers to put on a truck. How long is it going to take you, Frank, to get down? Three inch by two inch. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a big sticker. They'll have to send me one tank or have Dennis send me one. Put it on my wall here. And who did you call the new account to use, Frank? Vinyl disorder. Hmm. There it is. I still have to come up with something so I can get some made. Dennis, don't you have a um cricket? Yeah. That takes a lot, though, man, picking out all those little pieces and stuff. Oh, trust me, I, I tried it. And... Yeah. If you're going to do something like that, you just need to make it some big letters or something like that. No, no, no. I was just asking about a cricket because I'll, I'll send them. There's a, um, I have some um, Punisher stickers. Just black and white. It's just That's all it is. Well, it's black on a white background. I'll send, I'll send it to you. I mean, I I have the Punisher image already. I just... With this one, I can't do the print and cut. For some reason, it doesn't want to transfer to my printer and, and cut. Well, it's a three inch um, is the smallest they do. Well, <clears throat> this is what I got. And I'm doing a reorder, so it should oh, yeah. it looks smaller. I don't think it's three inch by two inch, but this is oh yeah. Tank R C. Yeah. And no, I'm just it looks like the lines three inch of the small ones can do it. I'm not changing. They're well. actually two inch, two inch by one inch. So I'll have to check that again. I actually have a cricket sitting on my southern floor. Don't kill the cricket. Oh, you got a real cricket? 
Yeah. Oh, he's not in the freaking thing. He says he's got a cricket on the floor. So. Yeah. Welcome mm -hmm. to the, welcome to the south. And I got one on the shelf. Yeah. How long, John Martin, before you get your printer up now? Back there. How how long it? I'm just waiting for them to come in to do the setup. Uh, as soon as as soon as I get that get that done, and then I can, you know, start playing around a little bit, print some stuff out to see what it looks like, and make sure I got everything right on it, and then we'll be ready to roll. I can send you some test prints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. sticker mule are like a fucking a dollar a sticker. That's a lot of dollar sticker. I'm getting two hundred and fifty for fifty five bucks. Yeah, that's a main sticker mule of fifty fifty dollars for fifty one dollars for fifty stickers. Well, when Bull Gear was doing them, the banners weren't cheap, and neither was the stickers. Uh -huh. I think the banners were ten dollars a piece. Materials cost, yeah, and that, and, and 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 believe it or not, you know the most of the cost is right there, just putting the ink on the vinyl. Yeah, because it soaks in so bad, I guess. It just takes forever to do it. That guy, Fish and Bill, Fish and Bill Customs RC, does custom bodies, lives in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. He had yeah. a sheet of these at Beat the Creek last year. There was 50 to a sheet and he had to cut them. Mm -hmm. One sheet cost him 100 bucks. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, think... that's that's what probably what three by five or a little bit. Yeah, three by five. Yeah. Just think yeah. that 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 roll that roll that that come off of was probably six foot in length, or six, or five at least five foot in width. Right, and probably 50 feet long. Yeah. Yeah, but he had all these made up, but I'm like, wow. <laughs> I, I'm not getting that carried away with it. No. But like, I, like I said, once I, I could, I, I got to get the time to actually get down there and get that laser cut, the laser uh, cutter. Yeah. Fine, calibrated. Shit, I, I had just... I had two banners. They're three by ten. I had two of those made, and it didn't cost me a hundred bucks. And they're printed from end to end. Yeah. Like I said, it all depends on who's doing it, you know. Cost of material. Like I said, I, I know personally the a full set of ink for that printer is close to thirteen hundred. Well, damn. Yeah. So you, you 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 do you do the math. And there's seven colors. Yeah, all the primaries. Yeah, it's going to cost you. No, I'm, I'm saying there's seven. There's seven different colors, and that's vinyl ink. Yeah. But the three on the corner of a one tenth scale window. That covers a lot of window. Yeah. Yeah, two by three. Yeah, that that's that's no, a it's gonna be one inch by two inch, just like the other one. Yeah. Well swappers are saying that he had some made up for the corner of a 10th scale window 
that were two by three. Oh yeah. And that's a whole back window plate. Yeah, that's big. Pretty you know, much, yeah. That's corner to corner, top to bottom. <laughs> What are you pulling? Probably better for the fender. Ooh, that might look pretty. Like the body. Oh, I don't know if any of you guys remember um, a guy on Facebook that used to make these covers for your RCs called All Around RC. It's just like a regular car cover. Mm hmm. He no longer exists. No? Nope. Gone. Oh. Tried finding him the other day. I wanted to get a couple more. And it shut down. Oh, yeah? He was at Beat the Creek. I asked him about some. And he's like, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do right now. And that was it. Never made any more after. You still got one? You, you, got, you have one, don't you? Yeah, right there. Yeah, the what I got. Send me a couple pictures of it. Well, you want to make one? I got a sewing machine that hadn't been used in years, and I need to get back to doing it. Here's it what he did. It can't be that hard if you get the right material. It's easy to get elastic, and all you got to do is just make pleats on the bottom where you want the elastic put the elastic in there shorten up a little bit boom put it over you got a car cover yeah all it was was just one pleat went all the way around it he fed it through with a like a just a blunt needle yeah he just, threw so yeah, you fed it through and sew both ends together and you go yeah it's a piece of cake I just need to know what kind of material it is this is uh <laughs> like a spandex type material maybe polyester oh i know uh, yeah i know kind of yeah i know kind of it's not like spandex it's like spandex but it's not stretchy it's at like or whatever have, yeah, have a good night right it, it barely stretches yeah, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I have a I have a t shirt. Javier. Later, Javi. Take care, Javier. I have a uh, shirt that I got. Uh I'm actually actually I got it from Hobby Wing. i I'll look on there and see and then I'll see if I can make it. I'll do some test runs. Because if you can't find somebody to make them, hey, that could be my little side hustle. There you go. Because I think all he did was he basically measured out the average length of an RC. Yeah, well, basically what you do and, is it's... And you just add three inches so when it comes down over the bottom, yeah, it will stretch down further. Think about it taking a flat sheet and making a fitted sheet. That's all you're doing. And yeah. it's not really square or rectangular. It's more round. Yeah, it's oval. Yeah. Right. Because there's really no front and back on it either. That's right? three inches and you can come on um, <laughs> Yeah, there, there's no front or back on it. Yeah, it's just wherever that seam's going to be. Either it's oh, going to be in the front oh, or in the back. Well, or... JD, I don't even have to worry about parachute pants. I got, I'm going to come in Adidas sweats. <laughs> That's how I'm rolling. How are you rolling? Matter of fact, hold on. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I don't even think there's a seam on it, John. I think it's just one piece that was just cut in. Oh, the just cut out, cut out in a circle. Yeah, just yeah, like okay. a big long oval. JD, I went already. I have shell toe Adidas. Where are you at? What you got? What you got? <laughs> Adi does, by the way. Not Adidas. Is 
Is that a light body you have? Damn. Three. Uh, I'm not freaking light. I like them Lex hand scissors. <laughs> and cutting, cutting tape. Oh. Does it start tearing on the back? No. Got to got to put your interior in. Uh. So you think Joe's going to have that interior and everything ready for tomorrow? That's his class one. Well, you guys just going to open tomorrow? Yeah. Good I'm just going just to have fun. Well, right, you're not going comping. Those comp guys don't know how to have fun. Comp guys are all like, I didn't win this at the end of the world. It's tiny tires and I need to get my trophy. <laughs> 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 I was talking with somebody about that earlier this afternoon. Oh. Tiny cars. Fuck yeah. And what are you talking about? Adidas. What the fuck is Adidas? Adidas is a problem. No, it's Adidas. Adidas. All day no, dreaming no, on no, the no, sex. No, no, no. Sure it's after that, that's the European way of saying it. Where are the where are the where, where are Adidas from? Adidas, are I don't European. care where they're from. Hey, scene, not it's gonna not where, where are you from? Is where you at? That's John. Adidas, the European. <laughs> the thing that I don't understand why he's called it Nike instead of it Nike. Sean is S H A W N. Nike. Not S E A N. Not, not <laughs> seeing. <laughs> not seen. You just call them Nike. <laughs> That's Nike. been seen. <laughs> Adi Dodge. Nah, but you want to you 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 hear something in my son gets called, like, is this spell in the his name? Is I hear Like, yeah. So here's a Where C. Is I How do you pronounce that? And it was even. Is, is, how's it spelled? C I A N C I A N. Oh, okay. Cut that part out. That's not a word. <laughs> that's my son's name. <laughs> like I said, that's not a word. It is what a is C I A? -N? What the fuck, Sean? Pronounced <laughs> Ian. No, Who Ian. the hell named him? <laughs> you had to do that shit. I know that's not your wife's doing. You must have you been drinking. <laughs> it's, it's actually in Irish it means the ancient one. Um, All right, scene. I've been called a hell of a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we all. Yeah, I ordered five hundred of them last time. I ordered two fifty, and it went too fast. Now I ordered five hundred of them. And by the time I'm done handing them out to everybody that's asking me to send them to them, you're going to have 400 of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I get a pair of Adidas in sweatpants in there. I, I know. I, most of my stuff I buy all Adidas. I don't own a single pair of fucking Nike shoes. Adidas. <laughs> I don't either. I don't Nike shoes. I don't know. Nope. Yeah. Where, where I grew up, the night was for what we used to call the fucking the corn fed kids. Like, you know, the, the parents bought a house on the hill and behind closed doors, I was get a 40 with fucking corn flakes. You know? I wear truck tailors. That's what I wear. Uh, truck tailors, too. I got. Dude, the same here. See, he just needs fucking shoe boxes. 
Story Show 都係話咗咗。See green. I have about forty pair. There, I got five five hundred stickers for eighty two dollars and thirteen cents U.S. So it is smaller than three inch. The one I'm looking at, it also. No, no, it, it's going to be just like on the truck. They're two inch by one inch. Okay. Where'd you get those stickers from? That's better. I Vinyl get disorder. Us. Who? Vinyl disorder. Uh, how long did it take them to get to them? Uh, they they don't take that long. Right now they have a special on bigger stickers, two two to one inch in length. So, so well, it was on sale. So I did try to enter that code. It didn't work. But I guess those are well oil slick chrome vinyl. So that's not the one I did. Anyways. Uh, yeah, when you come here, you go costume size, and I did the um, cut out, cut to shape, and then you just enter what you want, how many stickers you want, $576, premium, uh, here's your cut out, gloss, and then you upload your picture, and you're done. So that's... You don't get to see what it looks like, though, or how they have it... Yeah, they, they before they print it, they send you an email. They did that last okay. year with me, or not last year, a couple of years ago. Right. They send you an email. It says, "Is this okay? Does this look right?" And then you reply to them, "Yes, it does." And then you they complete the order. Okay, they're pretty good. So what yeah. did you go to? What did you go to the costume stickers? Go so back to the start. What did you click on? Uh, I went to custom stickers. Cut out. Or you can even go custom sticker sale, but then you have this is the one that's on sale. But I don't, I don't care about that. So if you go to cut out shape, that's the one I like. One inch by two inch. That's the one I took. Basically, one inch by two inch, which uh, save eighty two percent right now. Seventy six dollars for five hundred of them plus shipping. But if you want even bigger, you can. But see, 500 is 108, so it doesn't go that much bigger or that much expensive. But five by three is 175 for 500 of them. My battery is dying. But for the trucks, I go one inch by two inch. That's the one I got on my truck. Yeah, it's a good size. And I go cut out because it follows the logo. And they are waterproof. Like I've I've had this one on my phone for for years, so and it's still there and it's still in pretty good shape. And I and I got this in my pocket and take it out and it's been in the rain and all my truck has been in the water and it's been holding up very good. Did they give you the option of adding a little YouTube symbol or that... no? I I sent that graphic with the YouTube single uh, thing. Yeah, already in it. And uh, I'm the one that put it. And the new one is actually going to have Facebook. So I'm going to have uh, a fourth one on there, which is the Facebook at the end. Where did you get those from? Those are the images that you sent me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I'll, have... uh, hopefully I'll have channel stickers when they come in. And those are the images... I also have from Kurt too. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. You know, you were gonna send me a couple of those cut out. I did. You were that one there. Yeah, you were gonna send a couple of those. You never did. I thought I sent it to you. No. No, you're a big talker. Yeah. Okay. When you go see me in that servo, when you go see me in that servo, <laughs> have I got a fucking sticker from Dennis? No. What? When you go see me in that servo? Mm -hmm. I don't have channel stickers, so fuck off. What kind of cup do you pick time? Oh, shit, I've Where seen them. I don't have Where channel stickers. No, I took the custom cut out, the uh, contour cut. Uh, uh, 
uh, me and Tony from CCXRC, when I found this, we were on my channel and we were looking for different pricing. And I even showed him that one. He goes, oh, wow. Yeah, that's very good price. And they're very good also uh, and pretty fast. So uh, he even spotlighted it on his uh, channel, Tony from CCX. And I believe he did get some. But the price is pretty good then. I'm going back to all reliable SPAS prints. I do have a cricket. I did do some like Dennis did the black one, different colors also. But I, I like that one because it's contoured and it looks nice and it actually looks nice on the truck. Or even in the back tailgate. Oh no. Oh, I got some. Oh, I have some. Oh, I got a whole bunch. I gotta find my notepad with all my addresses. Oh, my stickers. So this is my um, truck that I put the most stickers on. So if you guys, I will be bringing this at Beat the Creek. I will be putting bigger tires. Um, and uh, this is my sticker truck for banners. So if you have stickers, it's gonna go on this truck. And see, I even have Tonys on there. Yeah, a couple different Tonys on there. Yeah. I think yeah, I one stickers of through a couple that I want to show you guys. Hold on. And my sand ladder is still still dirty. Still got dirt on there. It looks like poop. Mm -hmm. I gotta find my mesh screen because uh my my trailer's gonna be my, my banner sticker. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have some mesh screen I'm gonna cut it in half so that way it you can still see in it, but well, for a while anyway, until stickers get put all over it. These are the stickers that I got this week that I'm oh, yeah. going to be putting on my rigs. Push that in a little closer. Maybe a little more light. Oh, yeah. Curious about this? This, my friends, is the insurance and registration sticker for RC cars and planes. And I just this week got my uh, RC, I got my RC insurance card <laughs> here in Japan. I had to pay like $40 for two years of uh, RC car and RC model insurance. But basically, when I put these stickers on the rig with the with a number from my my ID number, that rig is now insured. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Oh. Time out, time out, time out. TJ, stop, 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 stop. I'm, oh, I am not stop. joking. No, like, serious. See, and that's why I'm glad I live in America because I have renter's insurance. Yeah. I have homeowner's insurance. I have what they call hobby insurance that goes on your homeowners or and whatever happens happens and you get the value you can mean tell me you gotta have a, a pacific insurance man no you don't have to have it there's a there's a bunch of guys i'd say probably about 95 percent of the guys who are running rcs here in japan are running them without any type of insurance so you, you remember back i think it was last year we saw that pro moto uh bike uh jump oh, hit, the, hit the car, car. You, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Remember that? Okay. That's exactly what this is for. <laughs> uh, this insurance right here is like, yeah, some kid runs out onto the track. Uh, he's going there to recover his Tamiya, and you're barreling down with an Arma on 3S, 4S, 6S, and he gets hit. No, no, no. no. It's called, it's called Rora, no, 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 Rora no. insurance out here. It's called Rora. Okay, Aurora. Okay. Aurora, yeah, yeah. You got to have that to race on the tracks out here. Yep. Yeah. Aurora. So basically, I can participate in official races yes. uh, under JMRCA rules because I just have to have this attached to the bottom of the car somewhere on the chassis, and then with the code, and then take hey, that car is officially insured. It's a new thing. It's new to me. It's new to me, but it is interesting. Yeah. I got your address right here, Kurt. I'll make some more of them up and send them. Yeah, whatever. I'm just messing with you, Dennis. So. Well, I got to get rid of some of this vinyl. So. 
<laughs> and I got Eric's. Hey, I'll send you a hey. Uh -huh. How about this, Dennis. What body is that? That's the warlord body. What do you want to send that for? So I don't have to paint it. <laughs> oh, you don't you don't want it? Oh no, I yeah, I, I want it back. <laughs> so you want it so you want it dipped. Is that what you're asking? Dan? <laughs> no, I'm gonna paint it. I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm a um I had a friend of mine cut me out. So I, yeah, I don't think you're gonna see this, but this is um cryptic camo. It's good. You have to look it up. But I, I think I'm gonna do that to it. I have, I have that camo film that I did on Kurt's Capra. I'll, yeah. I'll see. I gotta see because I'm I'm making this a. Uh, I'm also to get out of the bag. I'm making this a comp chassis. <laughs> cool. Uh, it's just the XX10, nothing special. Sean, if you're ordering stickers on the, uh -huh. if you're buying more than fifty bucks, put free ship on checkout. You will have free shipping over. No, I'm on the express shipping. Okay. That's what that looks like. I want, I want them for the event Friday. Yeah. Oh, that's Friday. nice. Yeah, that's what I did five, six days. Well, I'm doing one to two business too. Okay. So it would take me like a week to do that. Kurt, that's looking good, man. What, the camo? Yeah. That's hyper built. I got it. I yeah. know. I'm saying if I were true painted, it would take me a week. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta uh, finish. Um... Send it, I'll put a number on it. <laughs> I have one that I have to do for sure before Ju July, June. It's gotta get well, done. I have what, one, two, is it just two? No, three, uh, three buys to paint. And I think one of them will airbrush. Because I actually have a gun instead of a pen. Wait, what? Fifty-seven dollars for fifty-seven dollars for stickers, and I wanted to do one to two days. Sixty-five dollars for shipping. Whoa! Just need a number. <laughs> I have two to two to six days. You'll if there's still thirty days left. Yeah, no, but I wanted them for this weekend. So let me go back and change that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We change mm -hmm. those shipping for fucking option. Yeah, that's what I got. For my airbrush, it's a gun. So, Venice brand, I forgot the name of it. There's one that comes out of Japan that's supposed to be the most popular one. I forgot the name though. Well, no, this is different. This is not like the uh, the pin kind. This actually has a trigger on it. And so, I'm be able to, I'll be good with this. So, the only get free shipping and order is over $99. What? There's a code. It's called free ship. If you spend over five on five, I'll show you. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we're going to it says first class priority express, first class international, in store pickup. And then I got the cost that are larger, drop ship. Sorry, yes, yes. Total free shipping, $99 or more. Yeah, only. So there's, there's a discount code thing in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, 
If you look, if you look here, free shipping on orders fifty dollars or more. Just type in free ship to see if it does change your shipping. Free ship in caps. Less Valid today. for U.S. orders only. That's the reason I shipped it. But they only charge me six bucks anyways for shipping for me. It's not that bad. And it is two to five days, but you want quicker, so. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna head out. Catch you guys later. All right, see you, Fetus. Later. Uh -huh. Message you specify is not available for your audience. We apologize, but your token can't be applied to this order. Huh? Oh, Don't know. I don't know. Are you trying to send them to take Timbuktu? No, I'm trying to send it to North Carolina. Keith, you're going to have enough uh, holes to put all your pencils, or you got too many pencils? Uh, basically, the ones I'm going to use, I got enough. But I still got I got a whole shitload of pencils. So I'll give that a miss for the moment. I just I ordered a whole bunch more on Amazon. Yeah, I got the actually fucking local. Um, but I got to actually go to get trophies made so basically. Now I got to find locally if I can get somebody to make me a banner. A local. If John Martin could smarten up, maybe he could do me a banner. But he's not fast enough right now getting his friggin' stuff ready. Let's go, let's go. Well, that surely sucked. Oh, what'd you do now? New pencils. Didn't sharpen. You gotta get an electric one. Yeah, this is like the top of the line hand crank. I don't know what's going on. On all the crank one, I always have to hold the pencil. You don't have to hold your pencil? No. It's got this thing that comes out and it, oh, yeah. it goes in when it sharpens. But I don't know what's going on with this pencil. Because I'll have to sharpen it by a knife. Let's see this one, if this one works. The quarter past 12, that's why I'm getting so tired. Yeah, so this is doing the same thing. Is the pencil turning? No, it's not turning. Okay. Is there new white? There are new white pencils I got. Hmm. Or is doing some white outlining, but you see, it's just like uh, using a white pencil on white paper doesn't work too good. No, it gives it a little bit of glow, but not too much. Yeah, yeah. I'm just toying with you. And tank the place that I had my banners made is called Build a Sign. Okay. Damn, man. Yeah, they're they're pretty thick. Uh, two by four starts at sixteen, seventeen dollars, and a three by six starts at thirty-five, sixty. That's pretty good. You know, like I said, I had two of them made three by ten, and it was under a hundred bucks. Wow. What the fuck? Is my pencil sharpener broke? Yeah. 
see if I got a pencil that needs to be sharpened. Sharpen. I should make two. One that says the tank RC and the other one that that's written RC talk. I think huh. it's going to need a new sharpener. Yeah, I think my pencil sharpener just broke. You got to put more E6000 on it. Yeah. Maybe it's full. Maybe it's full. Oh, it's full. <laughs> I gotta go to this. See, that's the problem. That could be the problem. So I, I'm going to start doing some drag racing after this the parking lot wars. And I was going to use the, I do have a Traxxas tree here for drag racing. But setting it up, it's kind of tricky. But I'm not going to use the app. So the app is completely different. But they, I you made some Western without the letters. So instead, I'm going to buy the Traxxas uh, light. It's just a light from Traxxas. You press a button and it kind of, as soon as it lights up, then you can go. But there's no yeah. finish line. So you got to have some. Hey? It's a little hard to get that feeder. So, uh, so I'm in the driver and see that they I can barely hear what you're saying. Yeah, didn't hear him uh, at all. It was really hard to get that tree for a while from Francis. Okay. When the, when the dry racing scene was Fuck. so good. Yeah. Everybody was fine. It was. I'm, I'm starting to do drag racing, but me, it's just street racing, street drag racing. So I don't care. There's no class. There's no nothing. And we're just going to have fun. Like I could have a 10 scale versus a eight scale. Like it's just elimination. Let's just have fun. And I do not have a finish line. We will have a light to start off with. And we're just going to have somebody at the end saying he won, he won. So hopefully everybody's going to not take off too quick, but we'll try to be fair. We'll have a marshal. Uh, sounds... uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just lazy. My microphone's all the way over there. I just okay. have to uh, get up to go get it. Uh, being lazy on your casting couch? Yeah. Um, but sure am. Nope. It was full, but it's still not working. Oh, no. Try a different pencil? Yeah, I tried several ones. Different colors? You have any lead in your pencil? Yeah, there's lead in there. <laughs> Damn it. It's been acting weird for a couple of weeks. So, guys, it's 20 past 12, so I'm going to get the fuck out of here. The letter. Yeah, I'm going to use some of the me. jobs that vinyl disorder do, which are pretty yeah, good. Like you got yeah. They can even take a picture, like a picture like this, make a sticker out of it. Yeah. And you have some here on the bottom here. Here are some nice stickers that are outlined. I have to try oh. that company and see. Vinyl disorders. Yeah, I got to figure out. Shipping costs Save that actually going in there. They'll print anything, or sure. if if something is like close to copyright, will they have an issue with that? I have no idea. Send it off, and maybe they'll. I don't know. Yeah. They do proof it before and they send you an email for you to say, is this uh, okay? And I guess if it's copyrighted, like Traxxas or whatever, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I have always liked the 
Pepsi colors and those the the library like colors for Pepsi. I would love to get like some stickers made Okay. of that and just do a body up based on that. Yeah, but if you have different writings for it, it might be okay. So, yeah. And not in the same font as Pepsi. You're going to have to have it in a different font. So I do it. Something, something slightly off, right? Yeah. yeah. If, it was, if it was in the same font, then you'd probably get the copyright of it all. You know, at the bottom of the logo, there's always that always that little C for copyright. Yes. If you send the logo, don't send that little C with it. It's water. It's paint over it. Yeah, that one worked. Yeah. All right. Later, everybody. Good night, Sean. Later. Later. Oh, very, very good. Yes, the encounter took over. Yeah, I have to get out of here too, guys. All yeah, right, same here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I probably could have shut the. I'm gonna have to get up early. <laughs> All right, Jack. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Yep. See ya. All right. How many we got in the chat? See you guys later, chat. Uh, yeah. got, uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sean's in chat. Swampers took off. Ryan is still there. Hold on, let me see what's under participants. Nope. It's, there's yeah. really nobody in chat. So all right, I'm gonna end the live, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it, y'all. See you guys later Sunday on Kurtz. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Oh no, that's today. It's today. Yeah, today for.